Come on, OBS. There we go. What? Dude, I'm lagging. There we go. We got the mom of the corner. Everything's looking good. And of course, Mike Jack. One, two, one, two. Too legit city on the mic. Yo, what's going on, everybody? Hey, y'all doing today? It's your boy, me, Too Legit City. And we're live. And today we are back into the oxygen, not included. Thank you guys for tuning in. And of course, we're going to be getting back to the uh, No Starter Geyser Colony. Hope everyone's doing well, though. Thank you guys for tuning in. And we're going to be trying to send back the medals today. We're going to set up the launcher, Wii's Wards, all that stuff. And trying to get all of that set up so we can have a good time. Batteries should last about five years or so, depending on how much you use, of course. Okay, okay. Be like that, be like that. I see you, Kenny Dave. Evening to Legitimate Chat. What's going on, Torsten? Welcome in, welcome in. All right. We are doing good. What is that? Hey, 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 what is that? Hey, what is this? Wait, hey, that's illegal. I didn't do that. How did that happen? This looks normal. This looks normal too. Yeah, this looks normal as well. Yeah, everything's looking pretty normal. This plant is looking pretty legit as well. Okay, we doing all right. That's illegal, dude. Oh, it's not real. This is fake water. This is fake water. That was actually kind of impressive, though, because it, it came out of nowhere. Hey, and it just disappears. What the heck was that? What was that? Seriously, what was that? All right, man. That was, that was, that was it. I don't know what happened, man. Okay. It worked. <laughs> that was steam, I think. Because I think this is all steam right now. Yeah, this is all steam rockets right here. Wow, that's jank, yo. That'd be mad jank. Is it April 1st already? Yo, man, a couple days early. A couple days early. That was mad jank, yo. That's all I gotta say. Alright. So, so far, so good. We mined out a lot of the map. The hot energy is no longer here anymore, so I don't have to worry about the hot environment. The only thing now is that we're doing a little bit of active cooling, so the base could be cool now instead of being hot. But otherwise, I think we're doing pretty good. That was really thick fog, yeah, man. Got the 99% humidity sometimes. <laughs> be like that. All right, so everyone's back at home. So what is the first thing we're going to do? We need to go back to here. We need to double jump boost scan both of these. So that's going to be off of here. I need a double jump boost off of this so that I can go to this tile and scan this tile. So that's going to be two double jump boosts I want to do. Uh, we have two double jump boost rockets. All right. Oh, that's why we're out of power here. We kept kept draining it accidentally. Yeah, I should probably cut that as well. We probably drained all the oxygen out. Alright, so now we need to go into here. 114, 142. This is oxygen. This has a little bit of steam. Okay. So let's reconnect this. Oh, we don't have enough steam. That's going to be fun. Uh, it's connected to the first one. We're going to cut that. So we are going to be going to here and to here. And then I think we were going to go to here to try to set up uh, some of the tamer stuff. But I think we'll come back to this. And I think instead we're going to send the rocket to here. 
Now the problem is, is that if I send the rocket, oh no, I could go directly to here, but then go there. And then we just go here to here. Yeah, 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 that works. I don't want to scan that, but we might have to. And then we're going to go here to here to go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Oh, I don't get the scan those. I mean, that's that's the point of interest though, like this. Because you can't have two planets or a planet next to something else. So I could probably skip that. Okay, we're hoping to find the tear though. All right, need to set that up. This has oxygen, that has oxygen, so they don't need oxygen. This one has oxygen, this one has oxygen, okay. So we'll do this a little differently. All right, so the oxygen goes into there. And then we also want the oxygen like this. Let me actually check that. That is correct. And that is not correct. So this is like that. All right, that shouldn't change anything. That's not connected. And this shouldn't be connected. Yeah, and this should be grounded. What are you doing, Harold? Get out of there. Y'all need to stop using these restrooms. All right, so we're going to do that. This is good. We're going to flow that backwards. We know we're going to need a lot more steam because we messed it up. <laughs> I need to add a lot more water into this. And then we do have the water here that I'm probably going to remove. Uh, I'll probably also start pulling from here, which is what I needed to do. Be like that sometimes. So there's no power here because we stopped delivering the coal to this, which is fine. I could just bop the system and use this for that pump line. That's a good amount of water, right? Wouldn't be mad about that. So let's actually just cut this line. And then just have that pump. That should be okay. Bridge pump goes through, can't complain. The temperature is at 153, okay. All right, we'll fill both of these up. Try to get steam inside. We're not going to have enough, huh? Yeah, we're going to have to make some steam right now then. I do want to get the double jump started, though. That's going to be such a pain. All right, ice. Oh, ice is nice. All right, let's turn that off. We do have some ice here that I think I want to use. Uh, let's put it here. We're going to put the ice right there. Temp shift plated up. Hold the thermal energy and try to forcefully cool this area down. Mainly is this, though. All of the materials that are hot right there that got swept, got moved to that location. That's where the heat is. All right, all right. All right, so that's ready. Let's send that out. 1542. Okay, so. Hmm. I don't think we're actually going to be able to send both. I think it's smart for me to do this and try to send one at a time. There's no way to tell the dupe only collect if the temperature is under X, right? Nope. You got to use a machine for that, sadly. You got to use a machine for that. Oh, I guess I can make that mesh. I don't know if that really matters, but I want to spill out the water. Oh, and then this is getting mad hot. Yeah, so I need to add this in. Temperature of the steam is going to drop, but I think that's fine. All right, so let's cut that. Let's cut the AQ. And then we're just going to let them pump steam. Because we need to get steam inside of here. Alright, so this one will probably be the top left one. We're going to go for these two. So we're going to jump from here to here. And then here to here. And do the double scan. And then come back. So this is about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then that's a full 150. That's 300. 
So 6, 15, what is that? That's about 90. Okay, so I need about 300 plus full tank. So I'm, I'm close to 5. That's probably the safe bet. 500 kilograms of steam. And then once I get that, I could safely do the launch. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so we'll do that. It should be fine. Let's get the ice right here. All right, that's all the ice. Let's build that down. It's going to be hard to mop, but I want this to be mad cold. Uh, that means we're going to have to clean up a lot of stuff back at home for now while we're trying to uh, generate some steam for this. All right, that's fine. So we do want the Somnium, so let's try to uh, set this up right now. So let's see. Uh, let's do a trim like that, and then we know we have a trim like this. And the reason why we do this is just to carve out the materials. Let's trim this out as well. Once we get down to here, though, I'm going to want to do this. Oh, yep, lag. So I could mine everything else out. And then on this side, we're trying to mine in out as well. So what's the goal of this one? We're going to try to find the tear. And then I need to have a base that basically has everything we need. So while we have the water, that's nice. I'm going to want to send back the metal next. And then after that, we're going to need power, which is probably going to be here. So we're going to automate the metal to send home. We're going to automate the power to send home. And then we have the sulfur coming from here. And then we have water coming via teleporter. Uh, I'm also thinking about sending the salt water from this planet, send it back. And then I want to find the tear. And then once we get the tear, I think we could win. But yeah, I also want to set up the Somnium. How are you going to send power? On this planet, we have the crash satellite. So that automatically means I could use the geysers here because the crash satellite is an insane amount of radiation. So effectively, that means my rad bolt generator doesn't have to be active as often, right? <laughs> right, because since you're getting rads, you're shooting a lot faster while the power consumption is only tied to how long you're charging. So if I'm able to shoot shots really fast because of the high radiation count, it makes sense. Because the problem with this side was that uh, while we had the hydrogen here, the problem with that would be is that I didn't have a means of generating radiation, which would mean that along with the metal I have to send back, I would have to generate enough radiation for the hydrogen to be sent back as well. And I couldn't do that since there wasn't really a lot of radiation here. I couldn't stack it up to be able to send back the power because I'd be using the power to charge the rad bolts for the volcanoes. But on this side, since I'm able to get the crash satellite radiation, this means that I'll be able to generate uh, six to seven shots of cargo, whatever it might be, every cycle, which is one Rad Bull generator, and that's really strong. So yeah, that's going to be the reasoning why I'm going to want to do that on this planet. So we're going to send back the hydrogen gas. I believe if I go here, there is a gas intake. So we can send back cargoes of uh, hydrogen. Usually not going to be a problem. But yeah, that's going to be the plan. That's going to be the plan. All right, let's line this up so that we could actually go to the ceiling. Mine that out, have them do that. I might want to move the oil too soon. Auto save lag. We also have too much food, man. It just keeps going up. Too much food. Too much food. Happy, 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 happy. Seems good. Ah, look at this cold water. Ah, dude, this is what I wanted. You put the ice here, let it melt, and look at that. A pool of cold energy. So this is going to just stand here and start fighting the heat. I'm going to start kicking on the aqua tuner here too. So that we could have uh, this turn on and handle its business. 
There is water there. That's a lot. Uh, divide that by five. It's probably fine. Hopefully I don't flood the building. All right. Hey, sketchy player coming in with the daily smiles, people of chat. Can we get some happy faces in chat? Can we get a smile? Anything we got, y'all. Can we get some good vibes? People of chat, man. Anything you got that's a happy emote. Default emotes, man. Come at me, man. Let me see some smiles. Let's go for that. Let's go for that. I probably want to mine that. And then mine that. And then I probably do this to mine that. Still get the drop. And then I want this so that we could still reach the top. And then I need to trim this part, that part, and that part. Alright, should be good. I want to mine that. I don't think I can though. And then we could do this from the bottom side. Hopefully the guy doesn't uh, stand up from there. Can we reach that? Yeah, there's some places I can. Hey, Abductor coming in with the smiles. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, man, for the good vibes. Shout out to y'all for that. Yo, man, just one person, though, feels bad. Everyone else is having a case of the Thursdays. Not feeling it, not feeling it. It happens, man. <laughs> it happens. So, shout out to you, Abductor. Thank you for the good vibes. And I probably need to finish sealing this up, by the way. That's probably going to be something we'll do soon. Alright. 32. Yeah, the amount of steam we have in here is going down. I've never got the hang of Thursdays. Yo, man. Thursdays? I mean, I feel you with that. It's the day right before Friday. You know? You might feel a certain way about that. Being like that sometimes. Oh, we're out of iron, of all things. Oh, we have a lot of lime. That's great. Uh, let's stop generating power. Let's get ready for this, though. Wouldn't it be a good idea to use those salt plants for the spicy food? Spicy food. Salt plants. Spicy food? Spicy food. Uh, curried beans? Spicy food? I am not sure what you're talking about, Abductor. <laughs> Wait, hold up. Not sure, not sure. No worries, I'm just not sure uh, what it is we're looking at. No worries though, no worries. All right, this is nice. Um, yeah, we'll trim this. And while I can't tr I can't reach the stuff in the back. The dashes. Dashes all finds. You could use the dashes all finds as they consume the chlorine geyser. Well, that's not bad. Oh, you're talking about yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, yeah. So you're talking about the. Oh, I see what you're saying. Spicy and spiced. I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're using the freshener spice, and we use salt for that. There are plants. Uh, while there are plants, I think we're going to go through this route. We're going to use the hot salt water. And the reasoning is because it's salt water. We get salt from that. <laughs> so I'm thinking about sending this back so that we would just naturally get salt from the water. That way, I wouldn't have to grow the uh, plants. Second thing is, is that the plants require a steady source of chlorine. Do I actually have a chlorine geyser here? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no chlorine geyser. It's like, realistically, you can't really do that. But yeah, I think we're just going to grab the salt water that we have on the map and send that back, especially with the geyser. I mean, that map also has a lot of salt, so. Oh, that's illegal. What the heck is this? Dude, look at this pattern. Dude, that's mad illegal. Look at how much water this is. 700 kilograms. That's mad illegal. Actually mad illegal. Uh, I have to remove this. Ah, it's so mad.
All right, so I got to do that. So the reason why I had to do that was because this single tile is enough to flood the building. And the building will stay flooded until you remove all the water. It doesn't matter how much you have there. It could be a drop. It could be a full tile. You just had to remove the entire tile of water. Otherwise, your turbine never unfloods. Unless you save load the game. In which case, that's a different story. And then we put it back. Nice. Dude, that water was 60 degrees, dude. What the heck was that? But yeah, Abductor, you can use the salt vine plants for that. I just don't have a source of chlorine. So because I don't have a source of chlorine, I can't realistically do that. That's really the, the only problem we have with that, though. Those plants actually consume chlorine. At a rate of 6 grams per second. And we should have enough steam now, right? Yes, we do. Nice. Alright, so how much do we have? 60 kilograms. This is ready. 31, 60. Alright, well, well, nah, I should be dumping it. No chlorine vent, not on my planets. Not yet, anyways. Uh, how do I want to do this? How much tiles is this? That's 12, right? 60, 12, 600. I mean, I could fill this up. Alright, why not? We'll continue this. We'll do that. None of the engines are connected. Uh, let's stop this line. Let's stop that line. Overpressured? Oh, it doesn't go intake. Oh, I never built the intake here. That's why. I was like, how is this correct? I'm missing some. And then I got to move the power up top. And then we got to do that setup. And then we'll have the power setup right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everything should work from there. And then on this side, did I have to do that? No, that's already set up. Okay, so this side is okay. So this one is going to be 150. I could scan from there, one, two, three, right? While it landed and then just fly back. So I only need about 150 in the tank. That's not bad. Yeah, that's fine then. All right, so this one, we're gonna get ready to launch. 25 kgs, we got the water. Uh, we have a lot of oxygen on this one, right? Yeah, two, that's a thousand. All right, so I will want to do this. And then I will want to connect this pipe then. That has to feed out like that. So we're out of power now. All that was just to feed out. The gas in here is kind of bad. Oh yeah, it's going to overpressure. We're going to cut this line so it doesn't come out anymore. We have to deal with the seal too somehow. Uh, do we need data banks still? I could just grab the tech just because... We're still doing uh, drill cone stuff. Yeah, that's fine. But otherwise, that guy is actually ready. So we're going to fly to here, and then we're going to do the launch stuff. This is Susumu by himself. You got this, buddy. Free sulfur, let's go. So we're going to send this guy out. This guy's getting up to 150. It's fine, it's fine. All right, so this is in now. So I could actually do this and start trimming out this weird landmass. Uh, we're going to mine that, mine this. That should be fair. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. And then from this, we could climb down and start trimming this. So from here, jump, jump, jump. And then we could mine that out. That's pretty good. And then we could slowly mine that backwards. Uh, this is a trim on this side. Everything else should be fine. Let's give them a sweep at the bottom. The cold energy should be fine. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it's trying to fight the heat. It'll go down and go back up. Yeah, so there is actually a good amount of heat here. That's going to be interesting. All right, now, so this is... All outputs blocked, not enough steam. Oh, you don't. Yeah, it's fine. Let's set that up like that. 
Hopefully a dupe doesn't stay inside, that's bad. And then power-wise, I should be ready to do this. So we're just gonna put a... Ryan in the loot, nothing special. The synthesizer is one use only, right? Synthesizer, synthesizer. Synthesizer? Somnium, this one. Somnium synthesizer, no. Um, so you could use it as many times as you want, technically. So how it works is you set up a dream journal and that's basically, you have to sleep with the pajamas on, right? After you do that, you get the dream journal and you feed it in. Once you hit a certain amount, I believe it's 25 journals, it will start on. And then while it's running, you could keep sleeping and keep making the journals to extend the duration of the buff. The initial duration is 1500 seconds. So it's about like, you know, two and a half days. Every journal adds 60 seconds. I think it's 60 roughly. I might be wrong. I'm uh, like trying to just recall that information. So I might be completely wrong. But for the most part, yeah. You would do that and then you would just keep it running. If you were to lose the buff, you could just start it up again. Now, another thing is that it requires oxygen. So you need to have a steady stream of oxygen for the Somnium as well. Make sure you have that, man. All right, 150, we're ready. And this is actually launched. Yeah. All right. I want a little bit more just in case I have a little bit of it uh, losing the pipes, but I think this is fine. All right. We stop pumping. That means I start adding water in because this is not even close to enough mass. And then we have to plug this in. So we just keep the uh, water getting looped. That way we keep adding water inside. That's what we want. Pumping water from the right. There is no more water here. Oh, it's because you have a hydro sensor. Uh, let's put below. Yeah, I want to pump it all. Oh, that's me, dude. That's me. Yeah, the cam's on my desk. So when I'm playing a lot, the, the cam is shaking. <laughs> when I when I'm doing when I'm when I'm uh, experiencing the gamer moments. Yo, man, that's my bad. That's my bad. All right, so we got this done. Let's get rid of this. Well, let's do that. I, I apologize for that, though. I apologize for that. So this is above 34. Above 6. Uh, let's go with 20. 20 is a nice temperature. All right, so we're going to be aqua tuning now. The idea is we are going to be cooling down this area with aqua tuning. We have a radium pipe here and a radium pipe here. The logic is going to be is that we're going to cool down the tiles and then cool down the water. The water is effectively going to hold the energy. And then since the tiles here are connected, the energy is going to go through the tiles and go through to the roofs. So if this is chill, we're going to be able to start separating the top half of the map with the bottom half of the map with the energy. And then that way I'll be able to start targeting the other areas a little bit better. Like over here by the fridges and right here by the swept items. Those are going to be things we're going to want to try to fix. All right, so we're adding steam, doing the loop. Yeah, we need a lot more water. And this guy's going to be ready. So who is this guy? Who's who's going to be doing the uh, scope in here? Oh, it's Ellie. Ellie, do you have skills? I forgot if you could actually do the uh, telescope. You can. Okay. Ellie got it. Ellie got it. Wait, wait, wait. We have the food? Yeah, we do. Begin launch. Wait, wait, we have the water? Yeah, we do. Oh, and then this guy. I need to unground the rocket. Need to make sure. We'll do the same thing here. Don't want this to mess up. Alright. So far, so good. That's a lot of water. Alright, that's a lot of water. So this is divided by four. And then goes up, right? So I guess I want a little bit more here. Let's get up to 500. It's not bad. All right, let's pull this. And then the rest of the water is just going to be chilled into this tank. Cold water, nice and cold. And once we run out of water here, we're going to turn on this pump. Lord of Heaven, welcome in. I see you over there. How are you? Hello, hello. How you be, Lord of Heaven? Welcome in. Let's get rid of this. Get rid of that. 
drip that out, get it done. All right. So it's there. All right, we're gonna get a temp shift plate to help this out. Here, here, here. Three temp shift plates. We're gonna try to pull the energy from the inside of the pipes. Slowly start cooling this down. Nice humidity, dude. Nice humidity over there. <laughs> I don't know if that's actually nice, man. I'm gonna be real. Because that humidity does not look like the business. I see where I see you over there, though, Lord of Heaven. Cold and damp. That's never a good combo, man. That never looks appealing. And that might just be me, though, of course. All right, so we're flying. We're already there. All right, so this guy, we're going to have to do a quick setup here. So this is already ready. So we need to do this. We're going to do a quick suit swap for Susumu. That way he has an easy time. Oh, your suit worn out. Oh, that sucks already. And we're going to try to feed this all the way to 150. And we're good. All right, no more power. All the steam has gone. Low humidity with some uh, warmer temps. Still not bad, though. I see a sketchy. 150, nice. All right. Oh, no cancel. No, no, cancel, cancel. Dude, why did they try to decon this? No, inside. <laughs> All right, like this, so that we don't accidentally scan the gassy moves. Can we leave? Can we leave? Can we leave? Nice. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, we'll take the Paku, just cuz. Oh, they're gonna swim in the water. That's actually not bad. Oh, no, they can't. The doors are locked. All right, we're gonna let them just uh, chill inside then. <laughs> it's probably uh, bad for the little Pakus. Feels bad. All right, not bad. All right, looks like I might be better off with uh, all Radiant right there. That way the Aqua Tutor runs a little bit more. Pipeline replacement should not be bad, right? Should be nice. All right, so start cooling that. Here we go. Aqua Tutor temp. There we go. And then we need to chill the Aqua Tuner down here as well. I think this is the reason why. What's going on, Knight? Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for tuning in. Hope you've been well, man. So this guy's flying out. We're still waiting. Dude, 10 cycles. Dude, Ellie's such a slacker. She's gonna take 10 cycles to get there. God damn. Good to hear you've been doing well, man. Been prepping for my balcony the last days, weeks. First year sowing seeds myself. Wish me luck. Oh, nice. Whoa, whoa, whoa. you're gonna be planting seeds on your balcony? What are you planning to? Good luck, good luck. Watch out for the bees, yo. <laughs> That's the only warning I can give you. Watch out for the bees. They're always going to be buzzing around the plants. Chili tomatoes, paprika, cucumbers. Nice. I'm going to be honest. I don't know how any of those plants look like. I know the chilies are from like a bush. I don't know how cucumbers are grown at all. <laughs> and then I believe tomatoes are kind of like a vineyard. They get a lot of vines, right? I might be wrong with that. Yo, man. Hopefully you're ready to take care of all the uh, tangly mess that is the tomatoes. But yeah, I don't know how cucumbers are. 
Those are kind of, uh, not experienced with that. Alright, seems good. We're gonna start prepping the rocket for the, uh, tamer on the side. Alright, so... I can't actually lay out a blueprint here because I don't have a lot of materials. That sucks. But we're gonna have to go back and then uh, start setting it up. I think we're gonna need a lot of steel. So I think we're gonna do a couple things. Um, we're gonna have to make infinite pressure. And then we're gonna have to do a self tamer and then we have to move out the H2. I'll probably move it nearby. And then I need to make a setup to move the generators. While the map is cold, I don't want to rely on that, so I'm going to have a steam turbine set up, I think, for the hydrogen, is what I'm thinking. So what that means is uh, we'll put a steam turbine on top of some hydrogen generators. That way it could withstand the heat from the hydrogen if we ever need the power. And I think I might just only need two generators uh, tied to a smart battery. This is going to be separate. And then we'll use those two generators to power a rad bolt setup to send back the metal. Uh, we'll put Wee's Warts here with a pip. Oh. Do I have to worry about that? I shouldn't. I shouldn't. I'm thinking like I might need to power like a space heater inside so that the Wee's Warts are always like working. Because if it gets too cold, the Wee's Warts stop operating, right? Oh, but then, uh, oh yeah, these work though. So I guess we just have them in a vacuum is perfectly fine as well. That's probably going to be the plan. Yeah, that's probably okay. So we're going to need a lot of things. Let's get that set up. Uh, we move that up top. We had the skimmer down here. I don't know if I need the skimmer anymore. Those green bubbles on your Volcano Tamer. Those green bubbles. The Volcano Tamer. I am not sure which bubbles we're looking at. I'm actually not sure which bubbles we're looking at. <laughs> Sorry about that sketch. I might have missed it. Oh, 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 nope. Did we dig out the map? Nope. Okay. Whew. As long as we didn't dig out the map. I think it was temp overlay. Was it on the metal volcano tamer? Uh, so this is correct. Oxygen does go in. It was. Those green bubbles could be really cool. Oh, you're saying this from the steam turbines. I see, I see. Steam turbines, man. It'd be like that. Dude, abductor, dude. Always maximum humidity over there. Always, without fail. Alright, so five, it's fine. I think I will just keep the carbon skimmer here. Yeah, I like that, yo man. Gotta make a clean setup for the uh, screensaver setup. Oh, I needed to do this so that I could do this. Oh, that's right. And then I get that. Oh, that's right. I was trying to set that up. Uh, that means I want... Well, it's going to be like that. And we could cut this line from either side. So that means I would want one of these. Oh, I can't anymore. I can't fit those in. All right. So copper. That's fine. Diamonds. Uh, we don't need... So we need steel here. Uh, how much steel do I want? 
This is gonna be a lot of steel because we need. I think we need to redo the bunker doors up top as well. So let's put ten thousand in here. I will need lead because we're gonna need power wires, and then we have copper here. Do I actually have a lot of copper? No, I have no metal. 14, 2000. All right, we're going to use the metals inside. It's probably going to be the play. We're going to have to use the metals that's on the planet. So that's fine. We have a lot of metals on the planet. Um, I want to use Igneous. We should have enough of that. And then we just have to bring a Mechatronics guy to build the rail. Well, we're going to need Mechatronics for the other stuff, I think, as well. All right, we'll let them load that. Guys, I have I have to BRB. I have to drop the kids off, man. I apologize, yo. I have to BRB. I'm gonna let my dupes rock. Hopefully, no one dies. Hopefully, no one dies, yo. And I have to BRB, y'all. I apologize, I apologize. I gotta drop the kids off, though.
We back, y'all. Holy crap. Oh, man, I don't feel so good. Oh, man. We okay, though. We better now. All right, all right. Apologize, y'all. Apologize. Mom is centered. We good. We back. No one's dead. Everyone's still flying. Let's go. Dude, so I had late night some garlic bread yesterday, right? At night. I didn't have anything to snack on. So, like, in the evening time, I had garlic bread. So, this was like real buttered up garlic bread. I guess I'm just feeling the lactose right now. Because, <laughs> dude, I've, I've been mad gassy, man. Mad gassy. It, it was, it's, it's been too much. <laughs> been mad gassy, man. Holy crap. Garlic bread's good. It was great. But man, dude, me dropping the kids off right now, it was a bad time. Oof. I feel a lot lighter. But I feel like there's a round two coming. But I, I know it's probably gas. I'm just gonna, you know gonna have to chance it you know what are these days sometimes you gotta take a chance I don't actually know if I want to though. <laughs> all right so this is filled with steam and we're going to one two three four five six seven eight nine okay we don't actually need never trust the fart yo man it'd be like that sometimes I see you over there all right so we have lead steel and then we have copper here, which we probably don't need. Um, I want to fill up the suits, but we don't have power, right? How can we don't have power, but it says we have power? Oh, it's just not connected. It's what it is. Okay, so cut that, cut this, cut that. We're going to do this. Everything's going to be powered. And then we could add oxygen in. Nice. And then we cut this side. Steam is at a nice 128 degrees. We're gonna need a little bit more. So let's actually plug in this pump. So that's disconnected, so we're just gonna be cooling liquid. It's not bad. All right, this has cooled down now. There used to be heat going through the walls. This has absorbed some heat, it's went down it didn't go down any temperature, actually. It's doing its best to absorb, though. And then this side starting to get cold. Nice. That's what I want to see. And I do want to get rid of this. So I want this to completely... Uh, kind of just take care of itself. So we'll try to do a ladder set like that. And what we're going to want to do is open up the gas pockets. So... We'll likely want to just mine this out, and then once we're done, we'll just start opening it up. This is probably the default spot to open. All right, should be good. The backdraft, hey man, that used to be a that used to be a ride. I mean, an attraction. The backdraft. That sounds really weird, dude. That used to be a thing, man. <laughs> It still is a thing. It still is a thing. Uglarvis, what's good? I see you over there. It's blueprint day. Yes, it is indeed Thursdays. We hope everyone in chat gets a nice splendid bed. If you have time, do you mind explaining the mechanics behind the volcano setup you have on the other planet? The metal volcano? Yeah, this is easy setup. This is nothing to really write home about, to be honest. So, um... This is a normal submerged setup that I would like to make. Um, if you go to my YouTube channel, this is the submerged metal tamer. And it tames pretty much anything. So typically, the size of the submerged tamer, which is what I have highlighted, would typically have the volcano in the area too. So it's kind of like that without the extra stuff that's right here. Right? Without that. So the volcano would be here, and then you would have everything here. Self-powered, self-taming. I mean, self-powered setup, right? So the setup is easy. 
The volcano generates heat, it erupts into the water, and then steam turbines generate power from that, and then it powers everything. The idea is you just run a zigzag rail so you can cool it down, do a temperature check to allow it through once it's cool enough, and then once that's done, you'd be able to do whatever you want in this case. So um, in our case, we are holding it till we have it below 140, and then we let it through to the steam turbine room. The steam turbine room is layers of liquid. The reason why is because you can hold a lot more liquid per tile than you can gas. While you can use something like a high pressure vent, the gas is always trying to escape. So adding layers of liquid makes it easier. Um, you hold more mass this way, it's easier to fill up. And if you know how to stack it, this is actually very easy to do. Now, of course, the trick is you just do heaviest first, right? So heavy oil, then pee water, then water. And you can see the mass per layer. The rule for this is 35%. Um, unless you ask, I'm not going to really explain that, but that should make a lot of sense to the people that do know what I'm talking about. And then once you do that, you run the rail across and then the metal comes out cold, right? Because the temperature here, it's around 17 degrees. So we're running a radiant pipe on that setup. And this radiant pipe does two things. We do uh, cool down the steam turbine because while the steam turbine is running, it generates heat. But at the same time, though, we keep it cold for the metal. That way, when the metal runs on top of it, we keep it cold. So that's going to be how that's set up. So this is your normal submerged tamer setup. We added on top of that the two other volcanoes. So the logic for this is in a normal submerged setup with this design, you would need two steam turbines for cobalt, two steam turbines for iron. That is typically how it is due to the amount of heat they generate. What I mean when I say that is, is that they generate so much heat that the steam temperature either goes up past 200 or the amount of mass you have with that will last until the next eruption period. So that one steam turbine can't keep up and then eventually it's going to get so hot that your turbine won't be able to run anymore. So basically that means it generates heat in this short time span of 48 seconds every 850 seconds. And then this amount of heat will one steam turbine could last until the next eruption. The goal of a metal tamer is to prevent that from happening. You want to be able to cool down the insides, move out the metal, and have the next eruption waiting. Meaning that you should have everything basically settled down before the next eruption period happens so that everything that happens in that eruption period gets taken out. So that way you get access to the metal instead of having to wait until the entire uh, volcano goes dormant. Right, because that's a bad design versus a good design. Good design pulls out the metals immediately. A bad design waits until dormancy before it's actually allowed to because the automation isn't set up properly. So that being said, um, it's two and two. This only needs one. Copper and gold are the weaker metal volcanoes in the game that you could actually tame with just one steam turbine. Because of that, I opted for uh, just four. So while it's one plus two plus two, that's five. Since the eruption periods are staggered, right? 9.3, that's 48 seconds, 11 for 27, and that's 9.6 for 42. So it's not a lot of period of time that they're all gonna erupt at the same time. So I thought to myself that if they all stagger so that they all erupt individually, I could actually get away with four because four is actually overkill for each of these individually which would mean that I'd be able to cool it down before the next one. And even if they both erupt, four of them should still keep up with any two of these erupting at the same time. So in the off chance that all three erupts, I won't be able to keep up with that. But I don't think that happens just because it's uh, not that often, right? 48 every 850, 27 every 600, and then we have another 42 every 866, right? So I went with four. Now, second thing is, this has to be a vacuum. As you can see, we're using a steel airflow setup, right? Steel doesn't melt. And then the airflow is hydrophobic, meaning anything that's liquid doesn't actually touch the airflow tile. This actually does that. And then once it's done uh, accumulating mass, it spills over, right? Gravity. Once it spills over, it keeps spilling till it gets inside the mesh. Once it's inside the mesh, this is a mechanic that allows the liquid to solidify because it touches the diamond tiles. And once it does that, it pops out on the corners. 
So when that happens, you get the copper here because it pops out and falls straight down. Same thing with the cobalt, pops out, falls straight down. So the only other thing about this is that you can't mix the liquid metals, otherwise this mechanic fails, which is why each one of these has its own path. Right, that makes sense. You have a separate spill path depending on uh, if you're cobalt or if you're copper. And that's how this works. Hopefully that makes sense. Yeah, it's, it's because of how the mesh allows that to work and because it's not a diggable tile. So what stops that from happening is if you needed a robo miner, in which case you would lose half the mass. So you want to do that, have this controlled, and then it drips in. So part of it is because it only drips 11 kilograms per second, meaning that we would get 11 kilograms per second coming out. If this was a larger eruption though, we would be worried about having like tiles like this solidifying inside, which would be bad. But yeah, we don't have to worry about that. All right, so scanning, let's go. Oh, that's a cluster. Oh, radioactive gas cloud. All right, so no tear here, never lucky. We'll still let him scan though, because he's bored. We'll let him do that. And then we'll fly back home with that guy. All right, this has been 150, that's nice. All right, so the water here is gone. Can't complain. The steam is actually kind of nice. It's just low mass. I guess I do want to add some more mass in then. Perfectly fine. Let's see what we got here. Let's take the muck root. Hey, I love the crossword puzzles. Do you still do them or are they all done? We do, uh, we do the crosswords at the beginning of every stream. So if you go to my VODs or Jen, <laughs> you can see us do the crosswords at the very beginning. But yeah. We've already did two. We did one for the one today and yesterday's crossword because I didn't stream yesterday. So we did two today and they're both done, sadly. Feel as bad, Orgen, you missed it. So they're technically all done until tomorrow. All right, still could do that. This is fine. Let's try to sweep that and then I need to reach this. Yeah, we'll do that because I need to climb up. Got you, for sure, for sure. Feels bad though, man, you missed it. All right, so this is open now. I want all the gases to leak out. All right, so I need to do this to open up the gas pockets and then I need to open up the H2. So mine that down and then we do that. Because I'd be able to climb down to here, let the hydrogen out, and it should be all good. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. How is it on the inside? So this is more or less ready. We just need the food. And then we do have an extra bin that I don't know what I'll bring with us. Oh, we need plastic. Only a thousand, though. And then we'll bring 50 kilograms of grapefruit preserve. All right, we have oxygen here, can't complain. How much is inside? 450, I guess we could add more. Uh, we could go like that for now. All right, so now we need to set up the crew. We know we're gonna need a mechatronics guy. So we have Julie by herself. All right, what does Julie do? Julie does, oh, there's a lot of people have to reset. Julie is doing jobs that she doesn't really like, like digging. So maybe we don't send Julie. D Mayor Timo. I think Timo needed to be reset because he has mechatronics for no reason. Yeah, he has mechatronics for no reason. So Timo, we could send Ravco. He's an engineer, okay. We would need Ravco. Who's my mechatronics guy? Ghost Rider or Matixo. All right, Matixo, Ravco. And then I think we send Esme or Nonstop Naps. All right, so Ravco. Nope, 
Matik cell. All right, we're gonna send Esme. All right, three man crew for that. It shouldn't be too bad. Plastic, water. We just need the food now. Spiced food only. And once we get the food, we'll head out. Nice, nice, nice. All right, those guys are gonna be cool. Let's take care of that. Let's take care of that. All right, let the gases flow. Uh, let's bop all that so it doesn't stop the gases. Don't want it to get caught. And then we just gotta wait for that, which is okay. That should be good then. Still sweeping that. Temperature is gonna be nice soon. And the Wii's Wars trying to help out with the temperature. It's just so tough. All right, another thing is, is that I've been thinking about moving this radiant pipe to the top. And it makes so much sense. I would want this. Yeah, I would want that. Uh, the problem would be is that I think putting regular tiles at the bottom is a lot better. We're going to remove that. And then we're going to do Igneous Rock at the bottom. And then I think this allows me to run a Radiant Pipe in here. That's, that's going to be kind of nice. So we'll use Iron. One, two, three, four. I'll put one here as well. And then this should go like that. And by doing that, we would add some to the loop. Okay, so we need pea water now. That's going to be from here. Okay, that shouldn't be too bad. Gonna get that set up. That way we cool the fridge down and we'd be happy with that. We use Ward to help out at the back as well. And then how is this going? Dude, look at that. Steam's coming in, 125. This is getting cool too, can't be mad. Cooling down the area, it's handling it. All right. So we're taking care of the heat now, ever so slightly. There's still going to be a lot I want to add on, though. Oh, like this wire. It's very likely we'll move that into the, uh, the ranching on the side. Get rid of the wheel. Why are you running the radiant pipe for only a small gap? Is it for resources? Radiant pipe for a small gap? So you're saying, is it because uh, why am I having only one tile radiant? I don't want... Uh the first area to always dictate the temperature so one of the problems with using the entire pipeline as radiant is the very first few tiles of that radiant piping so basically on the entry point is going to absorb all the heat right so if that absorbs all the heat the back end of your radiant pipes never receives cooling because it's already absorbed the heat at the front so the back end things effectively receive zero cooling so I'm trying to spread out the instances that heat is being soaked up by the cold liquid in the pipe by having stagnated um, radiant piping, if that makes sense. So if I had the entire thing absorbed, I would have to wait until we overcool this before this area starts getting cooling and then this gets cooling last. So by using a single radiant pipe, you save resources on metal, that's one. But two, it makes it more consistent so that your entire area is getting chilled from the get-go. Otherwise, you're going to have to brute force the beginning before you get to the end. And that's something I don't like. I don't like having to do that. <laughs> the weird brute force strats. But that makes sense, right? The reasoning why I do that? Hopefully it does. Or how come I'm not getting rad bolts? I have power. I guess it's just slow. All right, so we won't bring the Weezworts and we won't bring the Pipyat. That's going to be probably the last step.
and then this guy is ready. He's gonna head it back home. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There we go. Don't go by the moose. That's gonna discover them. I see. I had to use several alka tuners on one pipe or different pipes to cool different parts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the reasoning why. I I'm trying to get away with just using one. But yeah, uh, you can get away with using just one aqua tuner. You just have to wait usually. Because you're going to have the front end of whatever it is you're cooling down to absorb most of the heat. But yeah, it'd be like that sometimes. I would highly recommend staggering your radiant pipes though. It's more effective that way. All right, trim that out. This is gonna be cool now. All right, so let's start thinking about how we wanna do the Somnium. So we have tiles laid out right here. We have a ladder set. So I think what we're gonna do is have like an entry point with suits or something. And I think we're gonna make it so that the inside has a uh, carbon skimmer of some sort. We're gonna wanna control the gas inside. And then we're gonna need to make a sleeping area for the dupes. So one thing about this is that I think I need to separate the Somnium room and the actual Dreaming room. Because I don't want the people dreaming to pick up the journals to deliver it. Because they're going to be wearing pajamas and it's going to be mad slow. So we're going to have to do a sweeper setup. <laughs> Right? We have to be able to sweep the dupes' uh, beds. So, likely, this is going to be a door setup then. So, that's a four. Alright, so it's here, here. So, that would be where the beds have to be. Right? So that we could pick up the journals as they sleep on it. This is a 13 tile design. That means it'll probably be like that. We could actually make it wider, I guess. That way we could all get a potted plant. Okay, that's not bad. And then I believe we're gonna have to bop one of these. So while we have four rooms, this is for 44 dupes. Bedrooms have to be bigger. Oh, is it? Is this 6-4 for bedrooms? 5-4. Oh. No, we're fine. It's maximum size. Wait, wait, wait. Minimum 24 tiles? Oh, no, you're right. It does have to be a somewhat larger. Okay. I see a shifty fish. Appreciate that. So it has to be like this. For the 24 tile minimum. Yep. Okay. So with this design, we have it like that. And we'll probably have to do plastic ladders, fire pole. Uh, we'll do a central fire pole and we'll have close ladders, right? I think that'll be the play. And then we need to stack this design. And then we need to understand that the center is never actually connected. And the logic for that's going to be that, uh, we need space for loaders. Right? So it's likely that we'll share loaders. Right? That's going to be one set. I don't think you could put a sweeper in the middle. Because you could only do two tiles from the top layer. And then you won't be able to reach the bottom. If that's the case. Alright. So we know that we're going to have 33 dupes right here because we have 11 uh, dupes per table and we're going to put a sleep squad. Sleep squad is they're going to sleep. So we're going to have the people living outside hook them up with both food, uh, you know, oxygen and all that, picking up the journals. There's a mod called Giant Doors, Giant Doors OP. I'll see you over there. 
And then I know that means this side is going to be an even amount of uh, duplicates. Okay. So we'll probably have to... Oh, this is in the way. God damn it. How hot is this? Uh... Dude, I'm down. I'm going to melt this. <laughs> I'm down, dude. I'm going to melt this right now. Let's, let's go. Let's see what we could do about that. So let's see. This is a building, right? So the strat is going to be... I'll probably build this with steel. And then I could build a vent here. I can't. Okay. So it'll probably be like this. And then let's get a ladder set up here. Yeah, I'm going to use glass. <laughs> I'm going to use glass. It's going to be 2,000 degrees. That's double. And then I'm going to put molten steel so we get the, uh, the building effect. Because uh, buildings typically have a uh, heat transfer point right under them. That makes it a little bit uh, more effective. And then I'll put diamond temp ships here. And then we're going to need a bottle emptier. I'll probably want to vacuum this so that there's no heat transfer. How can a volcano spawn like that? Oh, it's uh, oil. Right? So if you have a planet with an oil biome, these are oil reservoirs. They, that, that's actually how they work. <laughs> they just spawn randomly. I dug out everything around them, though. But yeah, that's oil reservoirs. They have that uh, weird mechanic to them. Alright. So, we still want to mine that. And it looks like we're going to melt this so we could do the suit area right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, they don't have Neutronium. Yep, they don't have the Neutronium. Talking about that. Yeah, they don't have that underneath. No, 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 no. This is not a, a geyser. This is an oil reservoir. So this is different because you don't get anything for free. This requires you to add water. So you have to add something on top known as a oil well reservoir, right? Oil well on top. And then that allows you to add water in so oil comes out. You know what's the funny thing about that? You know what's the stupidest thing about that logic? Technically, with how oil wells work, oil is technically lighter than water based off of how this building works. But we know that's not the case. What the hell, dude? What the hell is this? You know what I'm saying, man? <laughs> if you add water in the, the oil floats on top of the water and it comes out first <laughs> right am I wrong is that not how that works I guess we could also not have this ladder here and move the ladder to the left side so that we have the suit entrance at the bottom below the geyser that makes a lot more sense because that allows me to box this up perfectly That'd be really nice, actually. I'd probably want to do that as a strat. Inconsistency in a game? Has this never happened before? No, this has never happened. It has actually never happened, so it's actually kind of impressive, man. They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. Alright, H2 is at 500. I'm a little bit worried about that. The coal should be fine because we're always generating. Alright, so another thing we need is power. Um, we're running the aqua tuner there. I'll probably just pull off the same line so that we could just do a little bit of glass forge smelting real fast. We'll do that there. We'll make glass right on top of it. And then we will run this... Kind of like that. Uh, steel vent, of course. And then once this is done, this is going to be oil. And we're going to need to pump it here. 
This is going to be plastic vents. And then we'll run the lead setup. There we go. All right, we're gonna make sure we're okay with oil. Don't need that much actually. And then we could do a vacuum lock. We have enough CO2 in here that it doesn't break. All right, we're gonna melt the oil res. It shouldn't be a big problem. There's only 900 melting point. Aw, oh, come on. Can someone build this ASAP? ASAP, please. ASAP, ASAP. Nice. All right, get rid of this. Oh, what? Oh, they never added enough oil. Oh, that's, that's a travesty. <laughs> there is just not enough oil here to actually spread. I can't believe I, can't, I locked them in like that. Toilets. Oh, are we having a toilet jam? That should not be a thing. We should never have a toilet jam. Oh, we have enough oil now, though. Alright. Let's get the tile here. Out, out, out. Alright, nothing here should melt. Right? Nothing's within range. There we go. We get the vacuum block, and then we get the pump. Let's go, boys. So this is at 16. It's not even overload potential. Nice. Not even mad, not even mad. All right. So this is almost ready. Just got to run this. We will make... Hmm. How much mass is this? 2,000. Ah, uh, so this is point two. What's glass? We'll try to do some reverse math. This is point two as well. Oh wow! Same heat capacity. That's great. That makes the math a lot easier. Okay, so that means it's a it's a question of mass. I am gonna lose a thousand watts worth of. Yeah, it's one to one. So the only thing you do is mass and temperature. So I know I start at 2K, right? So it's going to be 2000 degrees Celsius. And then I'm going to cool about a thousand at most, right? So that means I lose a thousand that goes up. What's the baseline? It's at 46. So it's zero hitting a thousand and I'm at 2000 hitting a thousand. Wow, that's perfect. The math is really easy. So effectively, I would need minimum a thousand. <laughs> Dude, that's easy math. So twenty-five a thousand. What's the value here? Uh, forty. Right? Is that correct? The answer is forty. And then I would have a thousand. Yeah. Okay. All right. Hopefully it works. We'll have to see though, because I think the insulated tiles might absorb a little bit of heat. Same with the tiles here. I'm gonna go up to 50, man. I don't trust it. But by the time we finish that, we should be able to have everything melted. All right, that's gonna be the play. Uh, flying back. Oh, he's there. Let's go. So this, who's the rocket? Who's the rocket here? Who's landing here? Apollo. Yes, Ellie, do the scanning. I I need to see this. All right, that's going to be yours. Ellie, don't go outside. Please don't go outside. We got some wheeze warts, though, if you want to grab that. But don't go outside yet. All right, put the new suit on. We're not grounded. You could do the thing. Nice. So Ellie's going to chill here for a while. She just want to scan that tile. And then one, two, three, four. Oh, do I have enough steam for that? I forgot I needed to do that double jump. 
I don't. That's not close, dude. That's not even enough. Uh, yeah, I, I don't want to abandon this rocket, so we can't do this tile scan. So we we know we need to go back to be able to reach the hunt. Okay. Now, another thing is, is that I want to add more steam. Yeah, we're going to have to connect this line. All right, so this is effectively the water line. I got to use it. And then temperature and because I need to add more mass. Ideally though, I would want uh, better water. Wait, how come it's not working? Oh, it's because of this. There we go. The water is a little bit staggered, but I think it's fine. Alright, so now we have this. Alright, so we need to add P water to that. Alright, we gotta do this again. Alright, so when I'm running this, I don't want to power the aqua tuner. So that we don't get extra bubble. And then I probably want to do... Extract pipe contents and get some pea water. Uh, yeah, I gotta put this back probably. Yeah, I'd be like that sometimes. Should be fine, should be fine. This is not crushing. I might be running out of sand right now. If that's the case, I should do another stack of igneous. <laughs> I, I I have my doubts. All right, so we want to do that. This is pea water. And once we get pea water and the power in, we'll change the pipeline segments. Nice. All right. So that's here. And then we can cut that now. And then we're going to start chilling out this area. Nice. Looks good. Put the tile there now. Where are the crabs for? Free lime. I need to move them. So you have something called Poke Shell Molt. That gives you lime. That's what these guys give you. So technically, we were having some problems generating steel because we were out of lime <laughs> for a while. So I had to have a couple of those guys help us out. We brought them from this side. These guys, they used to chill in the salt biomes. They chill in, they chill in. New printables, so we'll take that. Ooh, more ice. Yeah, we'll take that. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll do that again over here. With the airflow there, we're going to try to chill the items again one last time with the ice. Feels bad, man. Alright, everything... Oh, we're ready? Nice, it's time, boys. Let's go, let's go. Let's move out the items. Those poor fish. Yo, man. I'm not a fan of seafood. <laughs> I'm not a fan of seafood, man. They'd be like that sometimes. Sometimes you're not a fan of seafood, man. Alright, so we do that. I have to unplug that. I love seafood. Nah, man, I'm not a fan. Seafood, not the business. At least I don't think it is. It's still crushing. Nice. Gonna get the bad gases over. Alright, let's see this in action. Oh, the heat transfer is mad slow. 
46.7. Especially crab legs. Aw, oh, man. Yeah, this is going to take a while. It's going up. It's just a little bit slow. All right, it's getting hotter each time. It's getting hotter each time. Crabs with butter. I see one there. Hey, what the heck? Lumen coming in with the raid. Thank you so much for the raid, Lumen. We don't have a raid message. Feel this bad, Leo Fart. By the way, DK, you have been illuminated. Welcome, welcome. D uh, Diva Ellie, hello. Mama Bear Gilrek, hello, hello. Lumen, how are you? Ads again, feels bad. Yeah, we got ads right now. Yeah. Welcome in, y'all. Came in through the ads, though. Leo Far, how are you? Lackluster, by the way. Uh, Twonker, welcome in. I see you guys over there. You guys are probably getting hit by ads, though. So we're going to wait for the ads, and then once that's over, man, we'll say hello. Hello, welcome in. I don't know if it, any of you guys even hear me. I know the ads are probably getting the most of you. But yeah, man, if you guys do hear me, welcome in. Thank you guys for the raid. Bring the community over to Sheriff Towers. How are you? How are you? We got to land. Lumen was playing Oni. Yes, yes. I'll give you guys a shout and all that once the ads are done, just because the ads are probably bobbing the peoples. But hopefully the stream was nice. Hopefully everything was great. Oh no, dude. Don't chill next to the crabs. Alright, get out. Nice. At least he didn't get hit. Uh, we need to do the refill go home strat. So this is this planet on that setup. And it should be good. Nice, it is. All right, shout outs to Lumen. Playing some Oni. Nice, nice. Welcome in, welcome in. Thank you guys for the raid. We got Nova, Mootcakes, and all the people of chat, man. Hello. Hope you guys had a good one. And of course, how was the streams? Talk to us about it, Lumen. Leo Far, I see you over there. Oh, we got the room walls. Yeah, we do, we do. We got the room wall designs. We got the star designs, diamond designs. The bathroom are just tiles, right? And then we got to do the robot wall eyes. Got to do some patterns. Got to make sure the dupes got their nice rooms. But yeah. Welcome in, y'all. My name is Too Legit City. We're playing some Oxygen Not Included right now. And we're doing a challenge run. Our challenge run at the moment is we cannot use any of the geysers on the starting planet. So the coal steam vent, the natty gas, the uh, oil reservoirs and all that. You can't use any of it. The polluted oxygen, some of the other geysers. So can't use any geysers on the starting planet. And we are going to have to set up a base on the starting planet by sending back resources. So things like this. Sulfur tamer, we're using this for food. We set everything up via the rails, automate everything, set up a uh, pit planet weaves wart setup for radiation, and we start sending back loads and loads of stuff. We'll actually get a launch right now, so you guys will get to check it out. Hit the 50s! Hit the 50s! There it is! Launch! Let me get two shots! Oh, just one. Feels bad. And we send the sulfur home. That's going to send out a shot, and that's going to go out to here. And then we're going to get the payload landed, just like that. And we unload and get the food going. That's how we're doing the food. But yeah, right now we are on this planet. We did a triple metal volcano tamer. Actually works really well. And right now we're trying to automate sending back the metal. Hey, thank you so much for the gift sub to Lumen, by the way, DK. Yo, man, thank you so much for the support. But yo, Lumen, you know who to thank. <laughs> Welcome to the city. Hope you enjoy your stay. I don't have all the designs. Need more wallpaper. I feel you with that. I was thinking about buying all the common ones. Twonker would have gives up to by the way, DK. Hey, I see you guys over there. Are you guys coming in with the gift sub? Shout out to y'all. Appreciate the support. And yes, that is Mamba right here by my cursor on the right. That is Mamba. He's my little kitty cat. Oh no, my AQ broke again. Oh no. 
No, the water reservoir filled up, so the water had nowhere to go and it froze in place. Oof. You hate to see that kind of thing happen. Too legit is legit. Yep, yeah, I got the strats. Let me know if you guys need the help. Slick, Sentinels, welcome in. Sunshine, Faith, I see you over there. Thank you guys for tuning in. But yeah, that is the run we're doing right now, what we're doing at the moment. But yo, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. I'd be happy to help. Oh, he's gifting me because he's going on a cruise. The guilt. <laughs> It'd be like that sometimes. It'd be like that sometimes. I have the last of phobia, so I don't care for the cruises. I can't be an open water man. Can't be doing that. I see a Leo. I see you over there. It'd be like that sometimes. <laughs> oh, no, it broke again. Steam. Yeah, the steam's going to escape. Uh, I'm going to prevent the steam from escaping this time. I just have to do a couple extra steps. You have to wait for the ices to not melt. Actually, I guess we could do this, and that would help out. And then we could do that. Motion sickness, oof, yeah, R the rocking of the boats. Mama Bear, welcome back. I see you over there. But yeah, how was the stream, so Lumen? What you guys get done? How was the colonies? How was the dupes? Hopefully they were being nice. Hopefully they weren't being dupes, which kind of sucks. <laughs> Some of the dupes, man, they make the darndest decisions. Are those dragon caterpillars? These are my grub grubs. They actually rub the plants and we get something called grub grub rub, which is a fertilizer buff. So 50% growth speed. So we just have a grub grub farm so that they could just rub as much as they want. And for the most part, yeah. They're helping us generate food by giving the fertilizer buff. These guys evolve from these guys, the little beetles. Oh, this guy just grew up, dude. Wow. He went from a baby to an adult form. And then, uh, yeah. We got some ranches for the food, some power, some spawn, some bedrooms, some more ranches. But yeah, the Grub Grubs are amazing. And that's the reasoning why we actually got this geyser. This is the food that the Grub Grubs eat, the sulfur. So... Both the plant and the critter are going to be a uh, diet of sulfur. Really nice. Got a Rodriguez build and a cooling brick. Nice. And a Dreckel Ranch. What soothes? A hey, good times, good times. Sounds like you're playing on the DLC, of course. I am hoping you're playing on the DLC. <laughs> but yeah, what kind of Planet Twitch Star are you guys playing on? I see you over there. For the most part, Lumen... If you have any questions, if you have any uh, frustrations or running into, don't understand, I'll be happy to help you out. Um, of course, though, if you just want to hang out, that's perfectly fine. No worries. I just, you know, if people are having problems with the game, I want to help them out just because it's, you know, it's a difficult game. And uh, from time to time, there are things that happen that don't really make sense. So if it's frustrating and you don't know what's going on, I could do some uh, explaining for that. But otherwise, yeah, hopefully you have fun. Just do whatever it is you want to do. That's the name of the game here. Oxygen included. You kind of just want to have a good time. It doesn't matter if you're doing things right or wrong. Because I believe that you have a lot of creative freedom when it comes to the games. And what I mean when I say that is, is that you could reach the end game goal in different uh, variety of ways. Just because of the different amount of like buildings we have and options. So there's no wrong way. Just have fun with it and you'll get there. Anything, don't have anything specific, but a lot of folk in my community are trying the game for the first time may have questions. Oh yeah, if you guys have questions, feel free to ask. I'd be happy to help you guys out. I know everything about this game. I do guides, content videos about this as well, go over the updates. So if you guys need help, I'm your man. Of course, though, that's only if you want the help. You know, I'm very much an advocate for you guys to play the game and enjoy the game you guys are wanting, right? Because at the end of the day, it's it's part of the fun is exploration, man. It really is. All right, so I think we're good here, and we have the food now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we got the steel as well. So we have the three-man crew. We do, and I think we're gonna go try to set up the metal volcano tamer. No, 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 the hydrogen tamer right now. Uh, no more steam. I think we were fine, and that is a four out of six. 
4 out of 10. Yeah, that's fine. So, crew launch. How old is Mamba? The Luminods are learning. That's awesome. Mamba is 7 years old. He's turning 8 this year. But, uh, yeah, he's an all-black Scottish fold. He is the best kitty cat in the world. And we got a blueprint. Let's go, y'all. What do we got today? And let me get a bed. Let me get the dream boat. Oh, it's a decent stripe. I'm not even mad about that. I'm, I'm a fan of the drywalls. I'm a fan of the drywalls. All right, someone's getting a striped bedroom like that. All right, we'll probably do it here. All right, we're going to also have to replace the beds. That's another thing. It's a lovely stripe, it is. We have this up and down. That's a diagonal stripe, dude. Some of the stripes pattern. Some of the stripe patterns are really nice. I like this one, too. This one's diagonal. Oh, man. I like it, though, when you have those, like, basic shapes and you can wedge together a pattern. Those are actually really cool. I'm a fan of that. I'm also a fan of the paintings. I'm also a fan of the paintings. Guess whose room this is? Yep, yep, that's pay. With a payphone. Only way to do it. Oh, the pink is striped. That is the... Oh, what's that called? Is that pooch? <laughs> Pussy? I can't pronounce this properly, man. I don't know another word that I could replace this with. That I could use the same... The same sound. Either way, that's the stripe name. I'm not going to try that again. Moose? So it's called Poose? I don't know, man. That sounds... I'm not saying that you're you're lying to me. <laughs> Just, man, kind of suspect. Oh, okay. So we got to do that real fast. Uh... All right, we're going to decon this, and we're going to rebuild that so we get the water out and then make space for the cold water coming out. And then we got to fix this right now. With the Y, I'm I'm not gonna try that. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey man, we tried. I'm a Google. I'm a Mike Sam, Google Phonetics. Uh, that later tonight. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 not gonna be a good times. It's not gonna be a good time. I randomly got chlorine here. Oh, this is oxygen. Okay, that's nice. Okay, that means I should be safe. All right, let's grab a thing of oil. For sure, no problems, no problems. Uh, I think I gotta do it here. Yeah, this might be a problem, but it should be fine. So I've been breaking into this and a lot of steam would leave at the same time and that's problematic. So I'm hoping to try to solve that problem right now by doing it a couple ways different. And I can't send this, actually. As much as I want these people to go, we can't. Yeah, because I need to do the steam first. All right, I've been live, so I got to go up, get some food. Thank you for the warm welcome. Oh, the rest of the stream is excellent. Have a good one, Lumen. Take care of the post-stream stuff, especially after that long stream. But hey, if you're uh, free, always feel free to come back. Otherwise, take care of whatever it is you got to do. If you have significant other animals, uh, maybe you gotta do things like get food ready, maybe get ready for the next day, whatever it is, take care of business. We'll be doing good, and I'll try to take care of your people for you. We'll see you next time, Lumen. Air frying some drumsticks? I see Wolf there. Gotta give it that good mystique chicken rub. Oh, no. Ah, okay. The steam is back. Alright, we can't unload the oil yet. We have to wait. That's fine. That means I can't launch, uh, launch any more uh, rockets, though. Oh, and that means this is done. Oof. Okay. So crew, interior, this is wrong. That shouldn't have been like that. That's fine. And then let's go home. All right. Launch. Should be ready. Zero Dragon, how are you? Welcome in, welcome in. All right, so the steam is very compromised. 
we won't be able to launch a rocket for a while until we get this cleaned up and then we fix the steam issue with the aqua tuner otherwise i don't have fuel anymore water is fine that's not a big deal it's really just uh getting to the point where we're able to do this again so we gotta wait for the steam to go away and then we have another rocket coming back but wait for that to uh launch and get away as well which is fine all right another thing that we're doing for fun is we're trying to melt this geyser so this melts at 926 degrees. I am trying to melt it with glass. <laughs> Which is why if you're wondering what's happening over here, that's what we're doing. So in theory, if I did this correctly, I should be able to melt this by the time we hit zero. If the math is correct. My math might be wrong though. But yeah, we have to hit it to 926 degrees. We'll see. Do you mind if I share a link? Go ahead. Please don't be a bad link, though. Alright, it's doing some easy sweeps. Eventually, we'll get that. Dude, what the heck is that? JC Penny? Air Fryer? I see you over there. This guy got the JC Penny Air Fryers, man. He's not messing around with that. All right, the refrigerators are a little bit better now in temperature control with the radiant piping in. It seems like... Oh, we just have no pee water. Yeah, there is a period where we get water and there's a period where there's no pee water at all. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to extract a little bit right here. I'll take care of that. All right, that should be fine. And I think we're going to want to start setting up uh, the room for the Somnium that we want. And I think that's going to be over here. I think I want to use all the space, which is why I want to bop this. And I think if we do that, we could kind of control, kind of like ceiling, and then have the gas spill out. I see a sketching. I see you over there. I feel like air fryers, man, have always existed, but they're just called something else now and people are buying it like hotcakes. Cause isn't a isn't an air fryer just a convection oven? Like isn't it literally definition of a convection oven? And that's been around for like twenty years. I've never really understood that, man. I'm gonna be real. Oh, wow. Oh, no, there's still a lot. And we'll pause. We do have polluted water. Confection. No, no, no. Convection oven uses heat, but they have a fan inside the oven for airflow, which is basically what an air fryer is. Like, like. Convection uses heat, yes, but a convection oven has a fan inside that blows air in so that the hot air helps cook the food. And a regular oven versus a convection oven, the convection oven was always faster, I believe. Like, you would have to change the temperature. I mean, uh, time you would have um, inside for the reason that it cooks a lot faster. All right, so we have the floors. Looks like the bottom is going to be a waste pit, which is fine. So we'll have to have like a carbon skimmer at the bottom for the bad gas. Maybe a door crusher because it's cheaper. All right, boys, let's get another one in. Let me get something nice. Oh, dude, okay, yellow cake, checkers. I'm down with that. Another drywall that I didn't have. I can't be mad. I can't be mad about that. Ooh, it's a shovel. Oh, man. These, this is literally the best food source in the game. But at the same time, one of the most problematic critters in the game. I can't take them. I have food. It shouldn't really actually matter. Well, let's take Steve. Let's take Steve. All right, so we're trying to cool down the items here. The items are going to take forever to actually cool down. But then hopefully the water is going to help out. And then the Wii's Wart's there too now. Alright, we're, we're still trying to cool down the map, dude. Goddamn. 
Why is it problematic? A shovel uh, could dig through anything that has a hardness value. So if you go to status on a natural tile, you have resource type, melting point, and then hardness value down here. Hardness value is a stat that determines how durable the material is. That's something that you actually use for things like water pressure calculation damage. And uh, in our case, if pips could plant into it and shovels could plant into it. So if shovels could actually dig into this, they actually swim in solid tiles and they move faster than Barry Allen. So if you have a base and a shovel, they could literally go from here, bam, to here. In the amount of time your dupe walks from here to here, they are really fast and they could outrun your dupes all day long. <laughs> so a lot of the times, if you have one free and it's swimming around your base, you, you're likely not able to catch it unless you have the food it likes. Now, the main problem with it is because that guy's a glutton. This little guy right here, he eats five tons, 5,000 kilograms roughly of material per cycle. So he will literally just eat your resources until you have nothing left. And why is that bad? He eats so much, five tons, and he poops out half. Now, the worst part of it isn't even that, is that every time he poops something out, it's a diggable tile. It's literally a diggable tile. So that means he will poop out a tile you have to dig. And what happens when you dig something? You lose half of the mass. So this is misleading. This is 4.8 to 2.4. You're like, oh, there's only 50% loss. No, you're going to have to dig this. So you're only going to get half of this value. So that means you have 75% lost every time. So you have a loss of resources that you can't recover and they will eat this much every day. So dirt is very, very useful in the beginning because that's usually mealwood or dirt research at the uh, research station. Iron is going to be how you need or how you make steel. If you run out of iron, you can't get steel. You're screwed in some cases. Like, I'm not even kidding. You just can't do anything anymore until you find a source of iron. And a lot of times that's going to be the factor that kind of like holds you back, the bottleneck, so to speak. So, yeah. <laughs> It's problematic. And a lot of times, it's only worthwhile if you have a group of them on the top of your map. Because you typically have this. Abyssalite. The Abyssalite layer at the very top is not penetrable by the shovels. So the value is at 150. So at 150 and higher, the shovels can't do anything. Let me get two shots. Oh, just one. Oh, he's cleaning. Okay, I see you, man. Have you guys ever seen the cleaning animation for this building? To ensure accuracy, we gotta clean the uh, cannon. Be like that sometimes. Gotta have the car wash uh, sound effects. I love Barry Allen. I see you guys. I was a fan of the Flash growing up. 100%. I was a fan of the uh, Flash growing up. It's only when I got older that I started appreciating other superheroes a little bit more, like Batman. <laughs> I'm a clean I'm cleansing slime with radiation for the first time. Oh, at least that's it's nice. It's nice, Dark Iraq. Because it's really fast. Cleansing uh cleansing Batman is really fast. Alright. The glass is at 300 degrees, the metal tiles is at 500. My oil reservoir is getting up to 197. We gotta get up to 900, boys. We gotta get up to 900. Hopefully, we'll be able to do it. So, this started at 40 degrees Celsius. So, you can see it's rapidly going up. So, we're at 1x speed still. But we gotta stack this up to 900. Oh, that's gonna be fun. I'm um, cleansing slime with radiation for the first time. I see a dark rack. Are you using the door method or like a weasel word? Splash. All right, let's speed this up. So are we... Oh, did we scan that? We never scanned this. What's wrong, man? 
Oh, there's no oxygen. Oh, there's no power. Oh, because I've been charging. Oh, I see now. I see why that's a problem. You got your wheeze wards on top. Uranium doors do. Uh, mechanized airlocks only. If you use mechanized airlocks for uranium, they emit radiation. <laughs> Pro tip darker rank for next time, of course. Or you can actually try that out now. If you didn't know, the strat for that is you put the res on top of the mech airlock and you make the mech airlock out of uranium. If you do it out of manual, you actually don't emanate uh, radiation at all because it's not enough mass. You need 400. So the 200 is too little. No, Mel Ellie's fine. Ellie's chilling. She's just uh, not able to use the power. So how much steam do we have? Oh, I have 15? I can launch. Uh, that's unfortunate, though. Hmm. All right, we're going to do a strat. Oh, I have wool for my... Okay. All right, let's go. Hey, Domino's welcome in. Legit question, how do you deal with black fog that doesn't appear, uh, disappear in the tile? Okay. So you're talking about fog of war in this game from a building and you deconstructed the building or a building tile got destroyed by water pressure. And then you had that fog glitch. Um, if you didn't know, you have to have your dupe fall through if you can. So falling through is gonna be the strat most of the time. Uh, do I have that anywhere? I opened the rooms, god damn it. <laughs> yeah, I don't have fog anywhere. Yeah, rip. You have to fall through, Dominos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the trick for that is find the fog tile. Have your dupe above it with a ladder, right? Deconstruct the other ladders, and then deconstruct this one, and he falls straight down. I thought it's self-powered. Yeah, yeah, So the rocket engine generates power at 600 watts per second right here. But that's only while traveling in space. So when we landed, I was scanning down here and powering the fridge. So I forgot to, uh, yeah, we didn't give them enough power to actually do that. What's up with the brain aporium? Ah, we're going to be setting that up for a buff. Let me actually help out uh, Ellie real fast. Let's go inside. We need to swap Ellie's suit. That way she could breathe outside. There we go. Where the suit, Ellie? Come on. You got it. All right, so we're okay with that. She'll be able to get power, build this, power herself, and then she'll be able to uh, go outside. So we're landing there. That's fine. Oh, can we not land? Why can't I land? Wait. I can't land on this because it's damaged? No way. No way. No way. Is this real? What do you mean? I can't land on this because it's damaged. It's open. Dude, I can't land on this because it's damaged. Dude, no way. Waiting to land. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's a thing? 
I can't land right- no pause? I can't hit the land button. Obstructed? It's not telling me why. It should tell me on the checklist. Dude, no, I think it's because it's damaged. I think it's not letting me actually land until the platform's repaired. Oh, dude, really? Oh, the meteors suck. All right, we're going to have to go back to fix this. Uh, we'll send the other rocket then. We'll go back. All right, so we need to do a flyby with this one. 91, so one, two, three, drop, four, five, six. No, we'll probably need more. Oh, then we have to fix this. All right, so chlorine's here. Oh, wait. Uh, don't actually land. Just be outside. I need this to not be steam for this to actually work. All right, so mop this up. We got to do this now. Set that up. And then this being chlorine is perfect. I guess we could also mop the top. All right, so next is the oil. We got to empty that. Let's go, let's go. All right, it's spilled on the right side. So I wanted a double spill. 150, 300, and then I could remove this now. So if water spills on top of this, the steam escapes. But if we don't have water land on top of the oil, the steam never escapes. So we should be okay. Oh, is this, uh, yeah. You can't take a dump in here, man. Get out of here, this guy. He's trying to take a dump in rocket space. Gustus, I want to see you over there. Welcome in, Uglar Visk. How are you, Timo? Welcome in, welcome in. Hope you guys are doing well. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for the drop of dupe through darkness stream. Oh, you guys didn't know about that? That that's that's the uh, that's what we call the immortal technique. The technique that survived the test of time, thus getting the name immortal. That was what we did back in the days. Before the DLC, before the updates. Coffee pour is some more. Hope you guys like coffee. Alright, we gotta repair this though. Alright, we got the repair in. Let's go. Let's move out the igneous rock. Because I'm OCD and I don't like anything inside of my boxes. Like, dude, man, look at my steam rooms. Perfectly clean. Perfectly clean. I get mad, dude. When they don't actually have it perfectly clean. Oh, we have enough water now? Oh, let's go. Alright, so this is stopped. We'll still move the pee water here. Oh, this is too much already. Alright, let's just not do it. And then we should have enough water. So we got to get rid of the bridge. And then we can pump that in. I mean, I turn that on. That's going to be good. Let's sweep this out. Oh, this guy almost got shot. Sketchy player, man. All right, so the only downside, the heat leaks out and you're losing heat on the steam, which kind of sucks. But in the grand scheme of things, this is fine. I won't be mad about this at all. All right, just don't get stuck inside and, you know, get sealed in. We don't need that. All right. Someone called me. Yeah, man, you were helping us build. And then you just went home. And we're like, what happened to Sketchy Player? Hey, what are you doing? Oh, you're out of O2 again? Come on, Ellie. Do another suit swap. We need to get your power so your food doesn't, doesn't rot. You need to hurry this up, girl. Where is the chlorine coming from? Um, I opened up the pocket right here. And there was a chlorine bubble with hydrogen. 
Oh, there's liquid in here now. It's causing problems. I need to mop that. And... How come I can't reach? Oh, it's because of that. And then, realistically... I want to mine these two. So that all the gases just leave. Yeah, so I'm trying to have all the gases just get vacuumed out by the top of the map. Didn't get stuck. Let's go. Okay, so that means we're actually fine now. Uh, I never built the res. Okay. At least this is cold water right here. Five tons, nine degrees. Alright, liquid lock's fine. Let's try to mop up the oil so that the pump doesn't pump it into the inside and have that be a problem. And then we have 30 degree water. That's very lukewarm. We doing all right. We doing all right. There we go. All right. So now I should be able to land at home directly and not actually fear it. Should be good. Some suits because everyone's outside. All right. This probably means I need to move my uh, gas res. Realistically. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I was going to say, why are we not getting oxygen anymore? I could see now. I could see. Alright, so far so good. I'm not that worried right now. Yeah, it should be okay. So, this is built. Let's actually have this set up. So, this is going to drip inside. We're going to generate power here. Oh, cold damage. Almost immediately. Alright, the insulated pipe's going to work, though. Because that was left over from before. Oof. That's right, fine. We're okay. <laughs> We're okay. It's damaged a little bit, but I think it's okay. Are you going to have to crash land on another planet? No, no, no. We'll be fine. This is just because I'm a little bit weird. Where is... Oh, downtime. I think I sent a robot down to fix it. Oh, yeah, on uh, this planet, we're going to have to send a robot. We're going to send... Well, not even a robot. We can just send a dupe. Build it, fix it, and then leave. And then we'll send another crew. So the idea is we're going to reload this with steam. And then we're going to send this one first. And this one's going to follow. So he's going to go with this one. Send a trailblazer, land. After he lands, he's going to relaunch back home. All right. So we need to set that up. So right now... It's a lot of steam, so I could cut this line. So now we just need to cool everything down. Uh, I'm going to do this so we get more water up top. Yeah, we need more water up top. Should be good. We're going to do this. I know there's going to be some 10% rule. Hopefully that doesn't happen. If there's no laundry, you'd be screwed. Nah, we'd be fine. We'd be fine. I got the strats. I feel like if we didn't have it, I'd still have the strats. All else fails. Too legit has a strat. Right? <laughs> All else fails, I, I trust too legit. He's got a strat somewhere. Alright, so I think we're going to have to eventually go inside and pull out the glass. And I think we would make uh, glass temp shift plates outside or something. So, uh, looking at our glass amount. Oh, we have 3,000 right here. God damn, that's actually a good amount. Does that mean I need to actually do something else with this? What else can I do with the hot glass? I guess if we just add more until we need to. I'm thinking that this is lowering the temperature of everything artificially, though. It's holding a lot of heat, but... 
the uh Uh, no, ice temp shift plates is so that you could melt the ice. Glass temp shift plates are so that you could reset the temperature. It's a little bit of a different logic for that. That being said, I could build some glass temp shift plates. Just so that I could have the glass recipe be used. Um, where would be a good spot? Oh, right here. Right here wouldn't be bad as well. Alright. All right, we're gonna do that. And then can I mop the sun? Oh, I can. not This is starting to get hot because it's absorbing the heat. So we have so much items here that are hot that the temperature is, is maintaining. Even the water is not able to keep up. Uh, I want to mop this if I can, though. That's the problem. Oh, spill that into the bottom? No, that's too easy. Uh, we could do a strat, I guess. Drip the water here and then pump it out? Nah, it's probably not worth it. Alright, 111. We gotta increase temp, yeah. We're gonna have to wait for this to get hotter. I want this to be at least at 120 before we start moving it. Because the steam cools down inside the pipes, and that's going to mean that it might break the pipes. We want to wait till it's in a safe temperature. Alright, looks like that's not enough heat. I do want to wait, though, till the res gets up there. But we can also just keep adding more. I don't mind this. Uh, we also might want solar panels, just because. Let's go with 64. Space the hot water. I want to run the hot water through the aqua tuner though. But yeah, there's not a lot of mass of water up top. Alright, so how is this planet? There we go. Alright, we got the power now. You don't have to get the... Uh... <gasps> this is taking overheat damage. Oof. Don't repair this. And it's scanning the right tile. Come on, give me the tear. And then Ellie could go home. I got it, dude. Let's go. Let's go. All right, man. Everything worked out. Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. Okay, so we have the tear breacher next to the tear. That's perfect. That means we could open the tear. And then send the same guy into the uh, the tear immediately. All right, we don't have to do additional scanning. We're pretty good. Uh, let's take the mellow wallows. Let me put one of those on here. It's not bad. We're just gonna be putting uh, plant seeds right here. It's gonna look nice. And then I wanted to deal with this. The hot items right there is too much. Uh, I have to pump it, right? Oh, I just pump it into this. Oh, that's perfect. And then that's a bridge. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. Perfect. So we just pump up the water. Hour-wise, it wouldn't be too difficult. We'll just do that works out. Alright, still gonna add glass right there. And then how is the temperature of the steam? Alright, that's not bad. And we're ready to actually do a little bit of steam right now. Uh, let's see. Oxygen here. Oh, they're stacked. Okay, we don't actually need that connected then. Yeah, so far so good. And then let's do the steam for the refilling. Here and here. I need to make sure there's always has room. Otherwise, it's going to break again and it's going to be bad. And then we need the steam temperature to be hot. So around 150 is ideal. Sky Captain, how are you, man? Welcome in, welcome in. I see you over there. What is good? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're ready for Blueprint Day. Because today is indeed Blueprint Day. Hopefully you get something nice. 
Alright, let's slow this down real fast. We'll get that, the plug-in, the water. All right, it's a little bit warm, 37. We want to keep lowering the temperature of that if we can. We'll leave that alone. Alright, so it looks like I'm using this as a means of getting into the Somnium room. Right, that makes a lot of sense. So this is going to be suits. Now, while that's the case, we could move that to here. And we could keep this as like a hallway that goes into the room. So we could pick up the journals and then deliver them. And then if not that, so we do that, we move the ladder to the side, we move the suits over. So realistically, we would have this. At least I want to make this. Oh, and then this could come out to here. Oh, that's perfect. And then everything in here gets uh, isolated. That's really good. Because that means that this door crusher effectively picks up all the bad gas from the map. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. I like that. And then we put a separate door crusher down here. I might want to fill up some of the tiles, though, just so that we have a natural spill path that way. Yeah, we could do that. So, suit room. This is a miscellaneous room. Somnium. And then... One, two, three, four. That's eight bedrooms. One, two, three, four. And then we have two over here. That's ten, twelve. And then we're going to need a meal hall for these guys. Because we're going to need the ability for uh, people to go in and out to refill the grub fruit preserves. Because they're going to have to eat off of this as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I think I see what we need to do. Let's go like that. Slide this out. This geyser has to be sealed up, right? So we're going to try to do some stuff with that. We also want to melt this res, this reservoir right here. 361, I'll get there soon. So we're just going to do some prep work for that. And then I know that I wanted to put a ladder here. So we're going to leave this there, just undug up, right? We're not going to seal it up properly. Maybe I should, because I didn't seal this one up because I had more space if I didn't. The other one I didn't as well. I will leave this one like that. So if that's the case, and we just run around on that, it's likely that this is going to be our ladder. And then we'll have a fire pole next to that. So we'll build the ladder out first. This ladder is probably going to go away as a result. And I think I'll be okay with that. And then we'll have the large little Somnium room on the bottom right-hand corner for the dupes. All right, so we're just waiting to actually uh, get rid of the reds. We're hitting nice temperatures, though. 600. I picked up Oni again after a one and a half year break. Sort of burned out after 2,000 hours. Yo, man, I'm at 3.6 right now. Going strong. Sky Captain, this is honestly a great time to come back. If you didn't know, there are talks. Not really. We, we know that it's already in place. Um, there's going to be a new DLC this year. <laughs> so that new DLC hopefully is going to be a great time. But yeah, we have a new DLC coming up our way. All right, so this is ready. Yeah, let's go. So we have no water. That's what we need. And that's going to be this right here. Nice. Yep, new DLC is going to be nice. So this is Timo, the pilot. Timo got this. All right, Timo's going to go there and then Trailblaze. All right, now this one is next. Okay, so we could do this now. Let's release the steam. And then it's going to be the same people they're just going to follow. Uh, yeah, we're going to do that. And then we're going to wait until this launches first. I wonder what it's going to be called. I feel like when we find out what it's going to be called, it's going to tell us a lot about what kind of DLC it's going to be. 
So I think DLC name is going to be big news. You know what I hope happens? I hope somewhere down the line, we find out there was originally 64 duplicates, and that at the end of all the DLCs, we'll have 64 playable duplicates. And the reason why I chose the number 64 is because it's base 2. <laughs> I feel like I feel like Clay might do that. I don't know why. There's no real logic or reasoning behind it. But I believe they might. And for that reason, 64 dupes. Having all the dupes would be so cool like that. Yeah, right? And then there's like a technically like a sweet spot value for that then. Alright, let's move this and let's move that. Nice. Moved out all the items. Two tiles there. Horror theme would be hard. Because I feel like games that suffer from simulation lag are the worst games to become horror games. I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> But it feels that way to me, man. Oh, there's... There's... Oh, the water's jammed. Oh, shit. Alright. I need my spawn to be running. Oh, my spawn's not running. Oh, shit. That's not good. Oh, and it broke again. Oh, dude. God damn it, man. I... I... I didn't pay attention to my AQ again. God damn it. Oh, god damn. Each and every time. Each and every time, dude. God damn it. Alright, so crew launch. We know where we're gonna go. So we're gonna go here. Let's go. God damn, we gotta fix this again. I can't believe I messed that up. Xenosai, I see you over there. Welcome in, welcome in. Got some thermium laying around? Nah, man. I'm trying to avoid going to a certain planet so that we don't have lag. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Rimworld's coming out with another DLC. Classic Rimworld. Be like that sometimes. Animal themes? Not enough critters? We could change it with this DLC. That could happen. That could happen. I feel like though, like wild critters would be nice. I feel like they would have to add multiple new critter mechanics for that to be feasible. And of course, like that should make sense, right? Why I would say that. I feel like that would make a lot of sense. All right, so I'm insulating this because I think that makes a lot of sense as well. And we're gonna start removing the base tiles. We're gonna do that because we're gonna insulate this line right there. Aliens DLC is my bet. Aliens DLC. Oh, man. I feel like... I feel like... Dude, I don't know what they would add. Realistically, man. I could see a world where... We get... I don't know how they would do it though. It's already got no no, he's talking about the Rimworld DLC. Not the not the only one. He's talking about the Rimworld DLC that's coming out. Like, I feel like what would make sense is if it focused on thermodynamics. I just don't know how they would make that. that I'm not saying the word is interesting. But, like, I don't know how they could add layers to that to make it more fun. Like, we have thermodynamics. Like, how would you focus on that, though? I don't know. That's what I would think it would be. It has to do with something with temperature. Because that's one of the main kind of, like, themes in this game. While rocketry could be one, it could also just be, like, a, you know, end game thing as well. A lot of games do that. All right, so let's leave that alone. Waiting for the steam. All right, how are we on this side? We never decon this? Why? All right, so I'm gonna do that. Can you go outside and decon this? 
Uh, we're gonna change crew. Ellie, you're not allowed in. Aw, oh, dude, dude, what are you doing? All right, just go in, let's go out another way, man. I have to wait and see, yep, I have to wait and see. Dude, we're trying to leave, dude. Come on, Ellie, hurry up. There we go. Come on, what are you doing? Oh, you're not part of the crew. So is this ready? All right, 15 kgs. Let's get this ready. So this is going to be steam. Oh, of course we don't have power wires. Oh, that's so annoying. All right, this is not crew. So that we could grab the uh, wolf or my to do that, that, that. And then let's also grab the steel. Move that inside and then put that there. Do you like Stardew Valley? I used to play a lot of... So I started streaming with Stardew Valley uh, five years ago. And I'm not going to lie. Uh, I burnt myself out so much trying to do gold clock runs back before they had different maps that I never wanted to play again. <laughs> It's been a long time though, and I heard that they came out with a big update recently. I just don't know how much my community actually wants to watch Stardew. Have I, do I like it? Yeah, I used to play a lot of Harvest Moon growing up as a kid. And Stardew Valley is literally an exact copy of Harvest Moon 64. So it was great times. I have fun. How come you're not, oh my God, what are you doing? What are you doing down here? Sleeping? Dude, just move the steel, dude. What are you doing? All right, Ellie, we're putting you back on the bad schedule because you don't know how to work. You're just walking around, dude. What are you doing? Move the steel. No, no, move the steel. Move the steel. No, move the steel. All right, no. Move the steel. You need to stop. Can you not? Come on, Ellie. God damn it, Ellie. Ellie, you're just struggling, man. You have been the most problematic dupe in the colony. Constantly just ignore job commands, doing random shit for no reason. Please don't drop the steel, dude. You're supposed to be working. Jesus Christ. Alright, so have we filled this up? 130, okay. No, man, dude, she went outside to pick up the steel, but instead of picking up the steel, she went all the way down here. And then once she went down here, she went all the way back up, and she didn't even pick up the steel. Like, what the hell is that? What the hell is that? You come out, didn't want to do the job, and you went all the way down here for no reason, and you went all the way back up? Oh, come on, man. That stuff is mad annoying. All right, 149. That should be close enough. 9 out of 9. All right, we'll leave it, man. Thug life. Standard dupe behavior. I love the concept of Stardew, but the, the, the graphics is a no-no for me. Yeah, 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 A lot of people, I would say, like, I think we could all appreciate the art and music that is Stardew Valley because of the game that's tied to. But in the grand scheme of things, it is not a good video game to stream based off of any of those qualities. Because it's fundamentally not something easy on the eyes, right? And the music is very repetitive to the point where it's like, if it actually matters to have like music you'd be able to, you know, like listen to, you wouldn't do Stardew. <laughs> like I would want to play my own playlist probably. And then I would probably want to add some mods so that it looks a little bit better. It's tough though. I think, what was that game that came out? Coral Islands? 
might be better because the art style is a little bit better I bet their job description contains one bullet point reading annoys a player nah man you know what the you know what you know what the uh, bullet point is have individuality do what you want that's really what it says man they don't think it'd be like it is but it do How is my glass only at 400 degrees, man? How come everything else is like at 700? I guess I can't be mad. All right, man, 400, almost halfway there to melt the oil res. Uh, we're gonna use this. So we're going to have to use a new fire pole location. We'll use the copper for that. Set that up. And then this also means we'll have to remove uh, things here. I could still climb up this way if I remove that. Yeah. So I did deconstruct on buildings right here. Oh, you guys can't see it. But I'm on the uh, buildings right here is the only thing that I checked. This allows you to make it so that you don't deconstruct your power wires. It's kind of convenient. Right, everything else is so far so good. The P dirt oxidizer is doing pretty good ourselves. All right, we're waiting for that. Let's get this, and then we do want to bop that. That's gonna be nice. All right, so this is done. We need to cut the power and then put another ice temperature plate here. So one, two, and we'll probably get a third one in just cause. I'll put it like this or something. The freeze at top. Did you stream the other clay success? Don't starve. I used to. Uh, I, I might want to start streaming it again. But yeah, the thing with don't starve is that... I feel like... While it's fun, I can't play it for too long. I don't know what it is. And it might be because of the, uh, I guess the vibe, like a lot of the sounds, a lot of the like music is very punctual. And because of that, it's not really a good mix for my stream. Cause it's like a lot of people like to sleep to my stream or, you know, have me running so that, you know, it's a nice calm time for them to kind of relax at the end of the day. So some people might have me on while they're working or they might have me on while they're doing something, you know, like maybe their hobby and they want me to keep them company, right? That's that's a lot of times, um, I guess because of my voice, it's something people kind of want. So while that's the case, uh, a game like Don't Starve that has like the music and stuff like that might not be a good mix. Now, I have streamed it though. Will I want to do more Don't Starve? I might, it depends. But for the most part, I am actually a clay ambassador. You would also get drops for the uh, clay event that's going on right now with the new update that came out. Someone's trapped. How are you trapped? Oh, that was your ladder. Oh, yeah, you guys are trapped. Let's give you guys some sandstone. Valid point about the music. Something entombed of Watina. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the pedestal. That's cool. That's cool. He's fine, man. He's cool. Valid point about the music. Yeah, it's it's the vibe. It's it's a little bit, you know, might be too much, so to say. Oh, dude, we have the sandstone. And you guys are no longer stuck. You guys are free. Hey, let's go. All right, good stuff. So there's a good chance we're going to want to wall this off right here. And I think it would be like that would be how I would want to do it. So I'm going to do it like that so we don't get stuck. DST is also a game that requires more attention because you are the character and not just some random god dictating what others do. Yeah, it's true too. It's also a different genre of game. I do a lot of colony management and a lot of the times my viewers like watching colony management or simulation in that same regard. If it's like, you know, cities or something like that. So it's like, yeah, be like that sometimes. That's a good point, though. 
I don't have enough, uh, as much time to really interact. I'm more focused onto the game. That is another good point. Dude, this is taking forever for us to have two uh, rockets go there. We'll be ready soon, though. Alright, so how much more? I want to hit 900, man. Right now, we're at like 6-something. Hmm. Part of me wants to stop and move the glass off the tile. Because I don't think we're actually increasing the temperature by too much anymore. We'll have to see. Oh, model seats. Uh, yeah, let me cut the power after that. All right, since I cut the power, them are reconnected here. So we could re uh, aqua tune this area. Would a temp shift plate help? I actually have two behind it. <laughs> the temp shift plates is behind it. We have two diamond temp shift plates. Funny enough. All right, let's remove these two. And then we're going to take the glass and move it onto this tile. The logic here is going to be um, we want to just off the metal tile. Steam at reminder, did you repair it? Oh, that's right. Ah, uh, no, there's still steam. I'm waiting for all the steam to leave first. I need that to happen. If I don't and water drips on top of the oil like this, it allows all the steam to leave. I don't want that to happen, so we have to wait. Gotcha, Gold Rack. Welcome in, though. How are you? How was the days? How was the Thursdays? Hopefully, you guys uh, remember today is a blueprint reset day. So you know what that means. We get all the fresh blueprints. Let me actually cap this. It makes this just an oxygen tile room. But yeah, it's blueprint day, y'all. I hope you guys are having a good blueprint day. All right, we'll do it like that. I think that's fair. Add some gloves and the wall. Oh, you got the, you got the, you got the stripes. Hey, I got the same ones, dude. I got the same ones, man. Those are nice. Those are nice. Oh yeah, I have the operation put a pip in every room. Uh, we're gonna move you into Pay's room. Everyone gets a pip. Move you into this guy's room. The restrooms are free. There's a pip in there. Let's move you to the top. Do we have any more pips? Or are they all dead? Everyone should get a pip, uh, a pit critter pet. All right, that's fine now, right? All right, I probably want to do the automation on here then. Like, we're not going to be using the glass for anything. All right, keeping it cold. Let's build this really fast before we do anything bad. Wait, 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 wait. What's this achievement? Hey, we did it, boys. Finely tuned machine. 100 generators. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, so we're here now. Uh, which one was the one with the rover? Dude, I don't remember. It's not this one. Oh, it's Timo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Timo, let's go, buddy. It's time. All right. No, no, no. Timo, it's time to send you to fix the rocket. Uh, I'm just going to do it here. There is no clear path to space. All right, I'm going to do it there. Let's go, Timo. You got this. Please don't be stuck. <laughs> Please don't be stuck. Come on, Timo. Alright, let's remove that. That means you get steel, and then you can use that for here. Alright, 
Alright, so we mine this. Alright, and then we gotta mine that. Oh! You're repairing everything, God damn it! Wait, why are you running the wheel? Oh, you can't go down this way. Grab and steal? Yes, okay, there we go. He loves the wheel, he likes tarot cards, man. I would like Pip Allergy negative trait. That's not a thing, dude. No one here has Pip Allergies. I had the day off and went to get a nice back massage. Dude, I've never gotten massage before. I like an establishment. Gotta, gotta get one of those. How come I still can't land? Is it this? How come I still can't land? How come I still can't land? Is it actually that? It shouldn't be. It's center three for the rocket path. And then if not, it's five at most. It's never gonna consider that left and right side. It shouldn't. The engine is never considered. It's always the um, nose cone. That shouldn't block it. And it's landing now? It's landing now. It was. Oh my god, it is the engine. Dude, that shouldn't be a thing though. That shouldn't stop it. If that's true now, rocket shaving has completely been patched. And it's not even a question anymore. If that, and it was, right? I think that means rocket shaving is completely patched. Because for that to make sense, that means you can't launch in the same regard as well. Which means they consider the engine now. They made an update quote, only allow takeoff and landing based off of the widest part of the rocket. Wow, yeah, that completely removes rocket shaving from being possible. Feels bad. Like, it doesn't even matter anymore. It's just not possible. All right, so that's not bad. We are going to go home. And then we're going to have the other crew land. Let's get out of here, boys. This is going to look jank. We're going to have a rocket land and a rocket launch. <laughs> Guys, this is perfectly safe. No collision will happen. <laughs> oh, man, that's so jank. So the reason why that happens is because that's not real. If you guys didn't know, the lift off and the land is a visual animation. There is no physical rocket actually traveling like that. Buffalo sauce, dude, man. I'm all about the honey barbecue, man. Honey barbecue is the only way to do it. All right, no ground. Let's do a suit swap for everyone's side. Esme, Matikso, Ravco. Let's go. Yeah, it's just an animation. It's just a visual animation. There's no actual rockets, uh, like, physically getting coded to move in and out. All right, so now that we have this, let's... Wait, who's starving? Ellie, dude, you have food. Can you just go eat? You're allowed to eat that, right? In before Ellie's not allowed to eat the preserves. No, she can't. Oh! She's not on a schedule that's allowed to eat. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. There we go. 
Yeah, she's on the hardcore schedule. <laughs> she wasn't allowed to eat. That rocket tube is steamy. Yeah, man, that's why we got to give it its own tunnel. The tunnel is hot, man. I'd be like that sometimes. All right, so these guys are in. Uh, I needed to trim this. We got to mine that out. Uh, we got to mine this. We got to mine that. And then we have a sweep only right here. We got to sweep out the items right there. And we're going to start clearing out the hydrogen tamer. We're also going to need to start mining out a bunch of other stuff, right? So something like this is probably fine. I'm going to want to mine all that out. All right, let them handle their business. Uh, we also want someone to put a chute here. So that we can start getting the metals out and we can start using that for whatever it is we want. Uh, so this is the magic. Eruption and it erupts on this side. Magic. Magic tamer, boys. How is it going to fit? Trust, trust the process. Got to trust the process. All right, we're going to mine that down as well. Don't do that, Sinister Plank. Yep. Mm -mm. That's going to be a bad time. I could have told you that. All right, this guy's coming back. That guy's coming back. Don't have to be worried about that too much then. And the steam is gone. We can fix this now. Let's go. So we have to mop up the water up top. Uh, hello? Is my computer on? Oh, oh, I'm back, I'm back! I'm back, baby! That was some extreme lag. Are we good, are we good, people of chat? I apologize, I lagged so much just right now, I don't know what happened. Oh, nice, we're live still, good stuff, awesome, awesome. The game lagged, we could hear you. Oh, nice, nice. Okay. So it was not a OBS problem, that's good to hear. Alright, so another thing is we have to bop this, and we have cold water again. Uh, we have to... Oh, I'm gonna do a strat. I'm gonna move the five tons of water here. And the logic for that is going to be... We're gonna un... We're gonna release the five tons of cold water. And I'm hoping to actually absorb as much heat as I can. Nice. Standard only frame drop. Hey, man. I wish that wasn't the case. <laughs> I wish that wasn't the case. All right. So now this is okay again. We're going to start stacking heat to melt the geyser. All right. So we move the glass over in hopes that this glass could allow the new glass to be at a hotter temperature instead of at 400 automatically. Alright, so when I drop the new glass inside, and no one's allowed in or out. Yeah, it's at 800. So it doesn't drop as fast. Because if it's at 400, I think it's averaging down. And that's deleting some heat. Now every time I add it, it should go up. We all wish that wasn't the case. But a minor inconvenience for what we've been given with this game. Honestly, man, it'd be like that. What do you achieve by melting the oil well? I want this area for rooms. <laughs> the geyser's in the way, man. They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. The geyser's in the way. I'm just trying to get it out of the way. So it's at 530, melts at 900. We'll get it soon. We'll get it soon. Someone's stuck. That's got to be a lie, right? Can we sweep this? Yeah, you guys are all fine. And... I think we need to mine this out. Close the steam room before the rockets come back. Oh, that's right. Oh, it's right. Thank you, thank you, Abductor. Wait, what is this? Priority deny that. <clears throat> Man, something's in my throat. What the heck? It's a good argument for only two, though. If you ever get there, have the opportunity to rebuild the engine with the lessons learned. 
Well, no. So, if you guys, I don't know if you guys know, this is on the Unity engine. Dude, we just released a hundred kilograms of steam. Ah, oh, dude. God damn. We just released so much steam. I don't know what happened. I think it might have been in a uh, simulation break thing. Because I was simulating at 3x speed. That can't happen. If you guys didn't know, simulating at 2x speed is the highest you could do safely. If you do anything above that, you actually have a chance of the game self-breaking. It's it's a sad mechanic, but it does exist. Yeah, I, I see you, Sinister, but yeah, I, I want to say that's going to be the main problem. It's the Unity engine. Unless they move to a new engine, in which case they could build it from scratch. That actually might be what we would need to see from the devs. Like, the devs would have to build their own engine from scratch. The, the, the question is, is like, not really more so like, can they do it? They can. It's, it's just a moment of whether or not they think it's worthwhile. And I think the moment they find out that it is, for whatever reason, whether it's developing, making the updates more streamlined, whatever the case may be, um, they would probably want to do that for Oni 2. So we probably won't have to happen with any of the new DLCs. It would have to be a sequel. But yeah, that is a possibility. I mean, if they have a franchise with people wanting to buy a sequel and they want to improve it and make everything in the future better, they would make their own engine. That's what the good companies do, right? If you just have money and you're just going to throw it at an existing engine, right? It better have everything you need. And if it doesn't, you're making a risk, a gamble. And that's exactly what some companies did and failed, and they paid the price. Did you take a rock from a hot place and drop it into water? So the steam may have been from the outside? No. Uh, the steam was spawning here because it was leaking out. And I'm 100% sure because I was at 280 uh, steam before. So yeah... That was steam leaking out, it happens. Wait, what's this? I've never seen this before. Building has overlapping ports. And when I click on it, nothing happens. Is it this one? So, those three ports are exactly the bottom baseline variation. I think that means my rockets are landing in the same spot. Are they landing in the same platform? I don't know why we would have the overlap here otherwise. Okay, right, that's entombed. Yeah, the broken stuff is up here. Yeah, that makes sense. Yep. Dude, what the heck is that? Killer Dove, though, welcome in. I see you over there. Hope you're having a good one. Thank you for tuning in. My gut feeling is that Unity is the best suited for heavy calculations. KSP2 stuck to Unity. Um, I don't know that's actually the case. I think it's more so that it's probably the best up-to-date kind of open source engine out there. But that's that's only because it's like the other competitors are suited for other things. Like Unreal Engine 5 is for more 3D games. 
Unity kind of has a 2D space, and while you can use UE5 for 2D things, it's not really suited for that. There is Godot, but there's a lot of problems with Godot, because there is a lot of things not implemented in Godot that's implemented in Unix that makes it difficult for the devs to realistically kind of like switch over. I've been reading about that. It's tough. So I don't know if it's best suited. I just think that it's probably one of the best names out there. Kind of like how people buy Apple, not understanding that Apple is overpriced, right? And they think that they're, they're you know, getting a better product at the end when they're not. Right? A lot of it is just branding. And that's what I think Unix is now. Like, I think a lot of Unix is branding because during, like, COVID, there was a lot of people gravitating towards Unix and uh, Godot and whatnot to make video games during that time period. And that's kind of, like, what people were looking up. So there was probably a lot of guides from people that do know how to code that are teaching other people how to code, but it's specifically for Unix because there is a free program on there. I don't know. It's hard to, it's hard to really gauge why it's being used, but yeah, it's probably one of the best on the market that's open source right now. We all know KSP2 released with accolades for its performance. Dude, KSP2 was tough, man. That's all I got to say. That's all I got to say, man. I'm worried about the overlapping ports, man. All right, we're going to go to... This is 252. Any rocket, any rocket. My Paku aren't eating. Is it glitched? Uh, that can't happen. So, Dark Rack. First trick I could tell you is take a mesh tile. Don't build it. Just hover over the Paku, and it should scare them. Try that, try that, try that. You'll never buy an Apple computer with hardware software and compatibility issues. And I say that's PC man. Yeah, but it's like, man, like, like, I, I understand that. That's just not a big problem for me as a PC user. So it's like, yeah, I, I guess that there is that thing there's also the people that argue that no one builds viruses for macs or apples because it's like so few population actually has it like i guess those are arguments for it it just doesn't convince me ubuntu i just don't like how it's like if you want to do anything on a setup like that mr crumbs you're gonna have to like write a research paper <laughs> You know what I'm saying, man? Like, yeah, you could do that, but it's like, it's tough, man. All right, so it's gonna be for this, for that. I guess because we're having the water come out, it's a little bit of a problem. All right, so from this, we'll let this be plugged in again, because we do need the water. It is. I just, I, I'm just not a fan. They do, but it's like, it's less likely. It's kind of like people who rob a car and know how to drive stick. There's going to be a certain group of that population that doesn't know how to drive stick. Even though it's like, well, if you're doing that, you should know how to drive stick. Like, I get the logic. It's just, there, there will be a population like that. That was once true, but today there are plenty of back viruses. Ah, that makes sense. I don't actually think there's a good reason to choose Apple over PC, but I understand why people do. Ah, uh, yeah. I understand why. I just don't think it's a smart decision. There's not a large crowd looking to break into my house, but I still lock the door. <laughs> I see a Xeno sign. I see you over there. That's true. The reason people are comfortable with software, that's fine. Yeah, that is true. There, uh, Some people do prefer that. Reload it. Uh, saw the Pocky Wii. Nice. Yo, man, those issues happen, man. Darker rank. You gotta watch out for that. All right, so this overlapping port is scaring me. I'm going to do a save load. I think we, I have a glitch going on. Because this means that I have stacked rockets, which shouldn't be the case. Because I have uh, open uh, rocket platforms. So 
Hopefully nothing bad's gonna happen. I'm just gonna reset the game real quick, guys, for memory leak issues. I've reached a new level of nerd going to my first D&D &D today. Oh, nice! Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. D&D is awesome, man. You should try to make a merchant that throws potions. That's always a good time. Especially if the uh, DM knows what he's doing. He's gonna, like, fuck your shit up. But in, like, the funniest way. If he's a good DM. If he's a good DM. That's, that's the ultimate test. You become a potion merchant, and you use that in combat, and see what the DM does. <laughs> Don't tell him I said that, though. Don't tell him I said that. We back, y'all. We back, we back. Aw, oh, shit. Mr. Crumbs, what'd you do? Mixy coming in with the 43 months on that 43 month streak. How are you, Mixy? Are you feeling better? Are you up and about back to normal yet? Hopefully, though, that you're doing good. But of course, thank you so much for the 43 months of support. How are you, Minxie? I see you over there. Oh, it was your it was your sheet. Ah, oh, I see you guys. We wanted those inner games back, but it was playing a wizard mechanically, but was flavored around potions. <laughs> Only way to do it, man. Gotta be the alchemist, mixologist. Getting there, seeing the specialist. So it sounds like you're making good progress, though, right? Good stuff, good stuff. Trending upwards, good to hear. Always want to hear that people are on the bend and getting better. But I see you over there, Minxie. Thank you for the support. How are you? How are you? How's the days? How's the week been? If you guys don't know what happened to Minxie, Minxie had to go uh, fight for the title of Queen of England, and they had, for whatever reason, a uh, weird tradition. It was full clothed oil wrestling. It made no sense. Minxie got the short end of the stick, and now she's rehabbing. So she had to fight another lady for the uh, the crown. Minxie lost. Feels bad. But uh, yeah, she's, she's coming back. She's going to make a debut again in a couple weeks. And we're going to fight for the title belt once again. But you know what, man? At the end of the day, everyone loves the underdog story. So yo, man. Mixie's going to come back take the crown. Week has been good. Nice. Instantly more mobile than I was. Oh, that's awesome to hear. Awesome to hear. Lacks resources, broken entombment, sounds good. Hey man, all right, we'll remove this. I know why that happened, man. These freaking dupes. We're gonna have to remove the ladders. We'll repair these. So get super exhausted super quick, yeah. You'll, you'll get used to it, everything will be fine. Your body just has to rebuild everything up, right? But once you do, you're gonna be back to normals. Oh snap, is it fake story time? Skycam, I see you over there. Okay. Oh man, I did not have one ready. So I need some time, I need some time. Oh nice, that's awesome, Mixie. Get the prime spots now. Eight seconds away from Carnivore and all my achievements run, but have to dash the target real quick before I finish. See you in an hour. Yo, man, Leo, good luck. If there's one store I absolutely hate, it's Target. And the reasoning why is because you could go in, like, oh, I just need to buy something for, like, five bucks. And then you're always going to spend, like, $50 there on, like, three things. Target is notorious, man, for just being mad expensive like that. All right, 660. Still going to do Molten Class. That's fine. We need to connect this. Let's go, Timo. I see you over there. I need to go in and out. Can't be uh, out of beer in the house. Yo, Leo. This guy always stocked with the beer. Not even mad. Not even mad. All right. So right now, we get the landing. We don't have the building port overlap anymore. That's great. Have a good trip. Be safe out there, Leo. So he's going to be free. Come on. 
And there we go. I'm gonna ground this. All right, so back to these guys. We gotta do the hydrogen tamer. Uh, yeah. So the design of choice. I think I did it like that. And I think we did it like this. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then the tiles here. We're gonna probably use cobalt. One, two, three, four, five. Ah. And then I think that means we have to remove this. That does mean I'll probably keep that open so we could walk around inside. This means I would probably have this insulated. Londo's loving his new job. And the payout from his uh, last is buying him a new car. That will fit all my build. Oh, that's awesome. Sounds like everything's going good. Awesome, awesome, Mixie. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, looks like they're going to have some uh, oxygen issues. So with the design we have, I think I need to mine this. That's going to be insulated, which means I do need to get rid of that. Okay, so I need to get rid of all this. All right, so that goes here. That goes here. Actually, we just do that first. Now this is fine. We have to wait for this to get mined out. So this is going to be a wall. How many grams per second does the geyser output? That is 408 for 300 every 600, roughly. All right, the last blueprint of the day, boys. Let's see if we get lucky. I got two wallpapers. I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty happy with that already. And number three. Oh, oh. This is this is just plastic gloves. All right, man. It's whatever. I guess we take those. All right, we have that steam turbine up top, and then oh wow, I don't have space, dude. I don't have space. No way. Oh my god, that's so bad. That's actually so bad. Oh wow, okay, so this is the water spot. I would have to have a spot here, right? And then the turbines right there. Yeah, and then I can't remove this to close the turbine because I need to put tiles here. I could just remove the biobots and just demolish the trait. So how are you getting blueprints? I've seen you get three so far. I've got none today. So this game uh, has something called a blueprint right here. And you get this from playing the game. So, of course, uh, Clay has a timer and it resets every Thursday. So that's today. So the breakpoints are kind of like increments of like a few hours. And I think if you play five hours over the course of a week, uh, you should get all three. Now, the thing is, is that I don't know the exact time or amount of uh, or the reset time. Oh, yeah. Options, game, uh, data communication, you have to enable it. You do have to do this. So that basically, it's like, if you're pirating, it's three per week, three per week. So you only get three per week. So you have to play every week. 
if you don't, uh, you lose the three for that week or the ones that you do miss. So you want to try to get all of them as you can. So yeah. I, I got my three. That was my third one just right now. And I shouldn't be getting any more until next week. Do you actually want to remove it? I used to keep it removed, but I don't think it really matters anymore because I'm like, I'm a fan of clay. <laughs> like, if it was like EA or something, like, yeah, you know what, man, maybe not EA. They're going to sell that shit 100% of the time. And then that has to be solid right there. Oh, the Biobot. If I don't remove it, I need a way to cool down the steam turbine. Now, I could get away. Actually, I really could. I could get away with not cooling it down, because this is a cold map. I could get away with it, 100%. You know what we could probably also do? We could probably run the contents of the metal because it's going to be cold over the steam turbine to keep it cold. And that probably works. I will have to remove these tiles in every case. Man, that's such a pain that it'd be like that sometimes. Oh, man. Yep. All right. So we'll just have them build that out. This guy's coming back soon. Everything should be good. The water is filling up. 150. Nice. So we're at a good temperature. We're going to add the water this way. So we get more steam mass. Biobots stop being useful mid-game IMO. It's true. I, I probably will remove the biobots, to be honest. All right, man. How close are we? 650. The glass is at 869. Temp shift plates are at 900 degrees. All right, let's add 24. Add a little bit more glass. And we're making sand still. You have a point where they're slower than dupes. That makes sense. Not having them uh, because of that. That makes, that makes sense. That'll be fine. All right, so then now we do this part. We have a bottle of five tons of two-digit water. I'm just going to empty it on the ground right now. And this is going to be cold. Oh, look at that. No spill. No spill, boys. All right, so right there, the temp shift plate. I mean, uh, the material right here is mad hot. So we're just trying to absorb as much of the heat as we can. And once we absorb enough, we're just going to pump the water away. Hey, Kill Bill, coming in with the five-stream streak. I see you over there. Kill Bill coming in strong. How are you? Hello, hello. Thank you for the streak, man. Appreciate the supports. I still use them late game when I have dupes off the planet. That makes sense, Last Lemon. That makes sense. I mean, they still have their use. They're just not uh, as effective as they were early game. I see you guys. I see you guys. All right. So we know we're going to have to bring a O2 line down to the bottom. I could probably pull it off of here. Especially since this could go down. And then we get our suits right there. I think a lot of the times we're going to also want to seal this up. So probably seal something like that. It's okay. Let's not do it yet though. Let's sweep out some of these items. And then everyone's doing alright. Okay. So in the base right now we have everything we need. And I want to set up the Somnium. So we know we want it suits right here. And then, oh, lead suits. It's never going to be that hot outside. All right, man, that's going to be a chance I'll be willing to take. So this is going to be to the dream journals. Um, let's make this a flat entry. That's also igneous. Now I'm going to stagger it.
And the reason why is because we're going to deconstruct the bottom layer. So we'll build that, deconstruct the bottom. You can do that from the top. And then we'll just connect it afterwards. And then we'll be able to put suits here because it's only three tall. And then it lines up with this room. We'll likely use this as a gas spill room. So it spills off gas to the bottom. And we'll probably have some rooms like that over here where the airflow allows that out. That's going to be fine. And then we'll have to work on the rooms afterwards. Which I think it's okay. Alright, wait on that. That's chilling. We're going to let the fish die. Dude, we have so much material here that's warm or hot. Cooling that down is going to take a while. Sweep that though. And this is at a nice temperature. We just need water now. All right, so it's not backing up. Let's cut this again. All right, should be okay. Let's go back to the other side. Timo, three stream streak. I see you over there. Coming in strong, Timo. Coming in strong. Okay, so we know this is steel pump. I believe I needed a regular battery here. I can't realistically have that here. And then I needed a thermal sensor. No, 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 no. Thermos? Atmos sensor. And the reason why we want Atmos is because... It's a pressure, not temperature reason. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, that should work. I love the sight of those grub grub grub. Grub grubs are my favorite critter, man. <laughs> grub grubs are my favorite critter, dude. They're awesome. It's a cool setup, too. Only way to do it. Gotta have it, man. Gotta have it. Alright, we're gonna wait for the dupes. Gotta mine, gotta build. Uh, I guess we do need an infinite pressure setup. And then we also needed the uh, generator setup. Uh, I guess we could move it up to this side. So that would probably be... I would probably want to use this. And then... Let's do it like that so we climb up the ladder to build this. And then we got to fix this room setup. Uh, two of these, and then we'll have a steel smart battery. This is ten. Wow, that setup is kind of wild. And then we'll do the lead here. And then I think, I think, that's going to connect with this. So this and that's going to be connected. This is going to be self-powered, so we're not going to need anything in here. And then we're going to use that same wire for the rat bolts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should be fine. So we'll do that. Uh, we know that this is never actually going to hit 500. We know that. So that should go in like that. We also know that this is going to be an insulated tile. It should work out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Reminds of the crawlers from Super Mario Odyssey. Oh, dude. That's called the Wiggler, dude. I know what you're talking about. I have that game. The Wiggler. Come on, man. 700. We're almost at the temperature we need. Just trying to melt the oil res, dude. We're getting there, though. They're not really trapped. And this is going to be grounded. There we go. All right. Checking out the water. We made a mess. Oh, we ran out of toilet water in here. What? How come you're not using the toilet? Wait. Oh, dude, the polluted dirt off-gassed, and she got stuck. Wow. Wow. 
That's so jank. The P dirt off gas so much. We lost the tile. And then she made a mess as a result. Dude, that sucks. Yo, man, we need to build this now, dude. So we could save Esme. Feels bad. All right, so no one's flying. That's okay. All the rockets are back at home right now. We're trying to make more steam. We're trying to generate heat right now. And it looks like we're running close to out of storage space, which is okay. Uh, I think we're going to need to, yeah, reconnect this now. Going to need to allow the water out. There we go. Oh no, what happened? What happened? What happened? Esme is going to be fine. How come no one's helping her, dude? What the heck is this? Dude, they're all eating and whatnot inside the rocket. And they're leaving Esme by herself, dude. These guys, it's so rude. Can't believe these guys, man. All right, we're going to do that so Esme could get outside. <laughs> and then they should be helping her out soon. I will leave them alone. We need to watch this before this breaks. Looks like we're okay here again. Nine degrees of water, which is not bad. All right, so this has been warming up. This is not bad, dude. Yeah, we absorbed so much heat from this tile, dude. It's kind of wild. Not sure, Miss Chemical Stairs. Welcome in. I see you over there. How are you? Minxie might be here. Maybe. She was here a moment ago. Welcome in, little Miss Chemical Stairs. How are you? Hope you're doing well today. I hope you're having a good Thursday. Friday's tomorrow. And then we got the weekend. 889. So this is still pretty hot. I am, I am. Alright, so we should be good. Alright, so while we're working on that, I do wanna... Hmm, I don't know how many beds we're gonna keep, right? So, one, two, three, four. Let's argue that... No, it's one, two, three. We'll probably put another room here, four. And then it's five, twenty. 29. Alright, we do need more beds. Oh, we would need another room of four, and then we would have enough. Ooh. I wanted to put one there. Maybe we'd have, like, random beds. These two could be beds. One, two, three. And then we just need a room for the Poke Shells. I could set that up. That, that wouldn't be too bad. Uh, that would be this setup in this room, then. So if I did want to do that and utilize this space... Let me grab this. All right. And then this is going to set us up. To the bottom right here. It's going to be a little bit tall, but I think this works out. And then we're going to do... Oh, the critter drop-off doesn't fit inside. All right, we're going to have to make a low setup. I think this is going to be the play then. Uh, this is dead space. And then if we do a setup into the inside. So... Door, 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 door. So we do that setup. This is going to be like this. And then this is going to be a shoot. This is going to be iron. Sure. Uh, we want it on the bottom. And then we want everything within range. Okay, so we could do that. So we're not going to connect it to the edge. That way gases could fall freely. This works out well. We want to put the loader here. Critter sensor setup. 
here, here. And then like that, and like that. All right, should work. Good stuff, good stuff. So we'll have that set up for the pokey shelves, and then we'll be able to put a room there. This is done. We're at a thousand. All right, let's go with eight more. We're almost at the temperature, boys. We need to keep it hot, though. Take the blossom seeds. We're going to effectively go up a higher count, though. We're going to need to hit a higher count soon. All right, so how are we over here? We get the ladders. We did. Nice. All right, still building out the other stuff. Still building this out. Realistically, we want that. Oh, it's because none of the cobalt got out. Let's send out the cobalt. Because the cobalt is 400 degrees. Now that we're looping it like this, it should be easier for us to generate heat. Because it should average out the temperature of the cobalt. It should increase. All right, let that loop. This side is going to be iron. Oh, wait. That means this is copper as well. All right, we leave the copper inside. Yeah, we just do iron on the other one. How come it's not wanting to do anything, though? Oh, it's because I'm constantly sweeping the cobalt. Can't do any other jobs yet. Yeah, that's fair. Right, right. Back to the dupes over here. They're building it out. It's almost ready. All right, so we do want to set this up properly then. About to run out of power soon, so we're going to have to run the wheel. Someone will run it. It'll be fine. Let's all go inside because we need to do a suit swap. Let's go Rav, Matixo. All right. And then Esme. Oh, Esme suit. <laughs> ah, there we go. That kind of sucks. All right, so now we're able to have everyone go out. Everyone has a new suit. It's going to be nice. Uh, Let's get rid of this. Looks like we don't need this as well anymore. We shouldn't need anyone running this wheel anymore because it's not connected. Everything else doesn't need to be changed. I want to get rid of this so we can start climbing in. And then we can have this actually temperature control. Alright, we're still working on that. But I need to pull power to the top doors effectively. So let's actually change this up. And then I want this connected to the bottom. There we go. That way we could just power the hydrogen into this setup. We wouldn't really even need the batteries up top anymore. And then we'd be able to control the doors. It's actually kind of big. And I think another thing I want to do is build another rocket platform. Yeah, I might want to build another rocket platform. Because I want to be able to land more rockets here so we could build this a little bit faster. That might be the next thing I want to do. But yeah, protecting this is such a pain. I think we will want to, though. Try to protect this as best we can. Don't forget the steam. Don't forget the steam. Don't forget the steam. Oh, I forgot again. God damn it. Oh, God damn it, dude. Every time. No one's coming home. We can fix this immediately. God damn it, dude. Yeah, I forgot again. God damn it. Each and every time, dude. 
Uh, let's cut this part. There we go. Dude, I keep forgetting, man. Feels bad. We'll have to just repair it then. Alright, queen. No gas escape. 1x speed, nothing weird, please. Let's move the igneous. No, 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 no. It's not it's not a temp issue. It's a storage issue. I ran out of space for the cold water. So there was no space for the cold water to leave. So as a result, uh, yeah. So I have a temperature check right here. When it's too cold, it leaves the system. But because the storage filled up, which means nothing is allowed to leave, you freeze the water accidentally. So that's my fault. That's 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 my fault. Oh, dude, don't hit that. I I do need to overflow. I do need to overflow. You ain't wrong, man. You ain't wrong. We'll build a second res. Nah, normally I pay attention to it. It's just that there are times where I'm just talking to Chad, explaining something, and I'm looking at something else, and I just forget about it. If I was here playing by myself, I'd stare at it until I was ready, and then I'd shut it off. Oh wait, I know there's gonna take some damage again, right? Yeah, alright, so we're gonna repair again. Oh yeah, I never allowed this. Why am I even turning this on? Yeah, there's no space still. <laughs> and I turned it on for no reason. Yeah, we gotta repair. We gotta repair boys one time. I would build two bridges in a series, pipe sensor, notifier, problem another time. I see a brainless. I'm not as good as the people in chat, dude. Everyone has a strats. I'm just listening to chat. Not actually that good at the game. Are we good? Yeah, 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 here we go. All right, it's building the tiles. There we go. Should be good, should be good. Nah, man, not that good, not that good. I wish I could be world class. Because if I was good, I'd be recognized. But I am not recognized. 820. Is that another 8? This is 901. I want to bump that up still. Okay, so that's going to be fine. Uh, Poke shells. Now we're going to be long here. Uh, how much power is this? Oh, this never connected. Oh my god. Sweep all the eggs out. Let's go. Ah, it's a deodorizer thing right here. Uh, this pump is not a big uh, problem. Yeah, it should be fine. I could overload here. Alright. That should work out. make this this is nice and no one got stuck okay we do it again <laughs> hopefully I just don't mess up this time all right we're not gonna add mass I just want a little bit of temperature I actually wouldn't mind some more mass though and uh, water system it is so very easy to make overflow just bridge and pipe extra water away to pool. Yeah, man. I'm not. I'm not that good. Uh, Darkson feels bad. I'm not good enough, apparently. Uh, let's 
see we do that. I need my ladder here. So now we can actually seal that up and then put a steam turbine on top of this. So we need this. And we know this is going to be a wall. So I guess we put two here. And we're going to go up and over and put some turbines on top. Okay, so we mean we will get rid of that. Once this is built, we'll remove the ladders. And then we're waiting for the cobalt here. Oh, none of it ever is leaving. Oh, because of the temperature. Yeah. Yeah, the cobalt hasn't looped, so we haven't extracted the heat from the metal's force fully yet. Oof. Yeah, it's going to be a while before we actually get cobalt leaving the system. That means I should be looping this. Oh, no. It's just the uh, sweeper that's not able to store or pick up. Let's do sweep only so we can sweep that side with the iron. Yeah, that way we can cool everything down kind of uh, consistently. All right, we're going to get a lot of power. <laughs> that we can't use that power for anything, though. All right, so we won't be able to repair. We're still waiting on this setup. This is a very breathable area. Hmm. Uh, I do want to send these dupes back, but I want to build another platform so that we can have more people come to this planet and then we'd be able to build this a little bit faster. There's no real way for us to get a safe uh, rocket platform, so I think we're just going to make a temporary one. This right here. Yeah, so I could jump up top and then land. Alright, we'll finish this. Wait for the dupes. I do need this on max priority. And then I need to make sure my dupes could reach. Oh, they're all inside? They're all inside. Feels bad. I'm sure you're very good. Just admit that you cannot pay attention to every detail while streaming and always make safety circuits. Long time system. No oh, man, my bad, my bad. <coughs> You guys have to teach me how to play. I apologize for that. It shouldn't be like that. One day I'll be good enough, though. And I'll have all the strats. Start speed running. Get my name on the world records. One day, man. One day. So we're going to be building this so that we can have two platforms. And then we'll send two groups here. All right, so that means we will have to prep up a second rocket. Uh, I am considering a second battery. It wouldn't be bad, and I'll put it on top. Because I'm thinking having two batteries could help out. Uh, I will need this, though, in order to be able to reach that. That complex tamer actually works, yeah. I just never swept out the metal. So now that I'm sweeping the metal, I'm realizing that the metal never got cooled. So you can see my iron, I have 13 tons at 450 degrees. So I should have been looping the metal, but I decided not to because I wasn't extracting it. And now I realize that was a mistake because that was like, like 90 cycles worth of eruption of all the metals. <laughs> so now it's like, I can't pull it out because it's too hot. So we have to start looping it. I want the cobalt, so let me just uh, do the cobalt first. Does it work? Yeah, I have both copper, uh, iron, and cobalt from all three geysers inside. The inside hasn't been left yet. I can actually increase this temperature probably to like 150, and it'll probably be okay. The steam temperature is around 152, so it should be all right. On the rail temp, yeah, we're at 300. That's a little bit tough. Alright, we're just going to have to let this loop for the most part. But yeah, it does work. It does work. One day might be able to get six speedrun records. Who knows? I know, right? I know. 
one day, man. We'll get there one day. Be a professional streamer. All right, all right. I mean, we only need the cobalt for this. <laughs> I could also just allow a little bit over. Let's do 250. And then let's go back down to 200. I want to see how bad this is. Oh, it's cooling down pretty fast. Can't complain. It's already at 29 degrees. Yeah. Stable temps. Can't be mad. I probably don't want to have a full line of this, though, coming out at once. This is just to get some cobalt ready so that we can make the uh, tiles. Realistically, though, I should be at 150. I'll do the same on this one. Uh, looping is always needed in cooling systems. Yep. The audio is a bit on the low side. I have to tune my speaker to max to hear you. Um, that might be just you. My volume is not on the low side. That is a personal issue. Everyone in chat has been okay with the volume. So I want to say that's all you. Not so much um, me or anyway. And from the most part, when I speak into the mic, I am in the yellow to red range, which is a little bit too much in and of itself. So it's very likely it's uh, your audio settings. Whether it's the stream slider or your personal volume sliders. Custis had to set the audio to 20%. Yeah, so it's, it's probably just something you set up for another streamer or that's your normal audio level just doesn't really uh, mix well. All right, we're gonna take the brine. Okay. Speed this up. We're gonna be trying to do the hydrogen right here. Uh, I do need to make an infinite pressure tank. That is another thing I needed to make. So let's actually make that right now. Let's go all of these. Actually, I won't be able to reach that, right? One, two, three, four. Let's keep these, and then we'll mine these out. Let's go. All right, let's go, let's go. The dupes are probably struggling because he can't breathe inside. I don't want to actually give them new suits, though, because they're all worn out. So I'm a little bit worried because of that. Okay, so we're going to go into here. The platform is built. Oh, it's 34 tile clearance. Okay, that's that's fine. I have enough space because I'm only running 25 tall max. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're okay. We're okay. Don't have to mine anything. Alright, we're going to send these guys back and we will come back then. While this loops. Oh, did we get the wire set up? Oh, we did. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, no, it's never mind. There's actually no uh, power here yet, so there's no point. Yeah, I guess there's yeah, no real point yet. Do you get metals top part pass through glass? It passes through glass. I'm running a strat. Uh, you'll see the eruption. It should make it make sense. All right, so... Oh, in about a cycle, we'll have an eruption. When this happens, you'll see it, and then it's all going to make sense. Hopefully it does. I use salt water and water for my submerge, and I got salt steam after. Oof. That means uh, you might have had... Wait, how did you get steam? That shouldn't be possible. All right, we're not running this full force. All right, so let me cut this line before I mess up again. There we go. We're good. We're good. All right, 150. Dude, I think something happened with that. Like, you might have uh, used a hot metal or hot rock from an area that was a little bit too hot, and it happened to boil. But that's that's hard because you need to have equal or more mass above 100 or you're either at a thousand degrees but the temperature should also reset so it's really weird how that happened it shouldn't have happened 
All right, so I think we're free to leave. We're gonna go back home. Uh, and the reasoning is because I need more bodies here. So we're gonna go home, refill, and come back. We're gonna let them, you know, do whatever it is they need to do. We got the double battery here, and we're gonna start setting this up. So we don't need telescope or data banks anymore. We're gonna start bopping these. We're also not gonna need plastic as a result, right? So we're gonna get rid of that. So we're gonna put more suit docks everywhere because we're gonna need suits and suit docks. Uh, we'll keep this. We will, instead of doing plastic, we'll do Atlas. We do the Atmos suits. Let's put a nine, put this to a thousand. They're gonna overfill this every time though. Keep that grounded, it's okay. And then we're gonna need to add gas. So that goes in, that goes out. So which one, this one? Thousand, okay, we have a lot of oxygen already. Okay, so it shouldn't be too bad. Let's start adding in steam though. We'll do the bottom ones for now. This one will have to double jump later. So I wanna set that up. So the steam volume and temperature is great. I need to disconnect this vent. This is good. Let's have this flow backwards. How hot is this? So 122, that's fine. So one, two, I would want to go into here, but it, I think it's fine. All right, should be good. Speed that up, coming back home. Do we need to make new suits? I have five suits, chilling. Not even mad, okay. Maybe I didn't use enough liquid mass, maybe. Still though, there's nothing inside that should boil it, to be honest. All right, half a cycle for the eruption. Honestly, very rarely do you get to see molten cobalt color. This is a very nice blue, it very is. But a lot of times you have it inside a steam room, so you never get a chance to see it. It's beautiful though. Oh, and then we got the pokey shells. Okay, so we need to set this up to just critters. Green signal above zero, correct. This is pokey shells. This is no eggs above zero, correct. And then this is pinch row. That's fine. This is priority nine. All right, let's move the babies. If we could move those guys, we're golden. 887, 969, temp shift plates at 969, 910, melting point 926. I think we're gonna get there. We don't need to build anymore. All right, let's keep going. Is that some kind of pinch road jail? That's a pokey shell ranch? No, it's a pokey shell jail so that they never attack anyone. The logic here is effectively, we wanna make it so that all the pokey shells are wild or, and are able to lay eggs. So cramping works because of how cramping works. I should probably actually also do uh, open tile. Uh, I could do open tile. Let me set that up then. I wouldn't mind setting that up. We could just do bottom as well. Oh, we do open tile up top. That could be the play. Open tile up top is probably the best play because they can't leave that way. Uh, let me grab oil. I need a drop. Oh, right here. Let's move that to here. Alright, we're gonna do a infinite menagerie setup so that they don't cramp or get miserable. That way it's a little bit better for them. Okay. Let me cancel, move, move here. That's the ideal spot. And then we gotta wait for that. We still want to move the Poke Shells into here, and it's safe, so that's actually not a problem. Empty. No, come on, dude. You were supposed to do it? Alright. Xandroff is there. We're fine. So, drop of oil. We're going to put a tile here so that we have... Uh, what do you call that? Surface tension? When you guys spill up the spill. When you guys add water to a cup so much that it starts to spill over, but it doesn't spill over, and then it has this weird little, like, dome up top. The surface tension, right? That's what we're trying to create right now. 
So believe it or not, this is surface tension. There we go. So this means that the oil is not going to spill anymore. And then this is a 80,000 size room. I'm down with that. 80,000 tiles. So by moving it here, they never get cramped. They always have space. And then all the eggs are always within sweeping range. And the eggs get swept out. So never, ever will we take damage from a, another Poké Shell. So that's the idea. It's a passive Poké Shell setup. So all the wild ones can live in this piece. He's going to be like, hey, what's in the door? I'm going to move to the right one time. There's a Q, dude. Come on. There's a Q. Move to the right. And this is what happens. Bonnie slam into the ground. This works with all critters that don't fly. If you're a flying critter, you just stay in the door. Outside of that, Pip, Strecos, all that, they fall down. But flying critters, they just float. So shine bugs, puffs, they get wrecked by this. Or they wreck this design, so it kind of sucks. But it will always move them in. He moves to the right, and then he falls down. Easy does it. All right, so this is ready. I need to cut that. This is at 126. Okay, we're going to start setting this up. Let's look at the inside. That is correct. All right, so this rocket is going to be the double jump. Yeah, we're going to need 500 kilograms of steam here. There's no steam here, so we're going to send this to this planet. And then uh, we're going to be able to have people inside. There we go. So here, stations. We're going to want the suit deck. We're going to use iron here. We're going to use all five. And I'm going to do this. Just so that we have oxygen for the top suits. And of course, we're going to need power. That's going to be nice. After that, I think we'll be all good. And then we just need to get suits inside. And then this one, I guess we should also uh, remove the telescope because we're not going to need it anymore. Well, we might need the data banks. I'll just remove the telescope on that one. Oh, wait, I don't have the double jump. What am I talking about? We found the tear. Yeah, 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 I don't have the double jump. Dude, I'm not even thinking right now. So that means we're done here. This is a cut. That's a cut. And then it should flow backwards into the vent. There we go. And we should be fine. And guys, stay hydrated. Make sure you guys are drinking some water. Some. Don't want to be parched. I want to make sure you guys are staying hydrated. Oh, that's right. Is it eruption time? Oh, did we just miss an eruption? Aw, oh, dang it. I think we missed an eruption. <laughs> Is this one active? No, it's dormant. Ah, oh, man. All right, someone remind me who had the eruption to, to follow. This guy has 0.9 cycles. Okay. All right, how close is this? 27 degrees, 28, 29. We're so close to melting this, boys. Oh my God, we're so close. All right, we're gonna add more. I don't trust, oh, we're running so low on sand. Uh, we're gonna do igneous. Dude, I'm running so low on sand. So low on sand. Oh my god. It's almost April Fool's Day. Oh yeah. April Fool's. Oh wait! I had a fake story, right? Dude, I completely forgot someone redeemed fake story earlier. And I never told the story. Oh my god. Dude, how did no one call me out on that? How did no one call me out on the fake story? Dude, I said I needed a second to think it through. And then, because I'm ADHD, I completely forgot about it. Oh, dude. I'm sorry, y'all. Who was that with the fake story? Are you still there? If you're not there, man. I'm, I'm sending you back the point so you get it back next time. Because I messed that up. That was my bad. That's 100% my bad, man. That's on me. 
I completely forgot about that. And I, I don't think they're here anymore. Skycap, man, are you there? It was you, buddy. I apologize. I forgot about it, man. Uh, we we'll probably don't need more than five. No, it's all good. No worries. I don't, it's not even your fault. He's still in the list. Yeah, but he might not be here, right? I, I want to make sure he's, like, here. Like, he might be gone. Maybe he's idling while taking a dump. You know? You never know. Maybe he's dropping the kids off, right? Might be... Yeah, who knows? Who knows, man? They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. Alright, I want that line, though. And then it looks like I'm gonna need this. And then I'll be able to build most of that. Alright, Poke Shells are gone. Uh, let's grab the Molt. And then let's build the room. Alright, this guy is gonna get the Bounty Castle. Let's center that. And we got a new Stripe. The blue diagonal, looking nice. And then we're going to need a couple things in here. First things first, we're going to get him a painting. Let's give him the three wide one. Those are always nice. And then we will give him a arrow pot. We have a lot of glass. Oh, man. Maybe we don't. No, we'll, we'll put it in. It'll be fine. All right, that's going to be another room. And then, yeah, we got the background for that. Let's let him keep going. 903.2. Okay. And then are we back? We are not back yet. Okay. How is the inside? They're still building this. Oh, we'll need oxygen there. So I'm going to need that. That's going to be big for us. Oh, it goes straight into storage. I can't charge this because there's no power. Ah, oh, that's right. I might have an idea what the next DLC would be. Yo, man, you're gonna need you're gonna need a way to explain yourself, though, sketch player. You know what I mean when I say that, right? How do you know what do you know? How do you know it's correct? Oh, oh, oh. All right. So, Cobalt spills, goes through the mesh, pops out on this tile. There we go. Hope that makes sense. Tanit, hope that makes sense. And just like that, we get an ad. <laughs> oh, man, everything happens to line up. Dupes have their own pets in the bedrooms? Yeah, I don't know, man. It's a stretch. That's tough, man. Because technically, we already have that. We technically already have that. I understand one tile across, but it's actually two tiles across. No, this is because of the chute. Right? The chute is the rail is going up from here. This is going down to here for the uh, diagonal. The bottom right, bottom right, and it falls straight down. Dude, 220 degrees. We could pull it out if we wanted to. But yeah. We need to cool it, man. We need to cool it. It's so much power, though. Goddamn. And, dude, how much longer? There we go. He's come back. Oh, Mama's awake. I hear you, babies. Yes. 
Y'all hear the kitty cats? He graces you with his presence. Yes, babies, I hear you. I know, I know. Oh, there's no more oxygen. Okay, so I wanted to change this. Ah, uh, because I don't have enough suits going up top of the space. Maybe that's not going to happen for too much longer and it's perfectly fine. We'll add that in. I wouldn't mind that. It goes diagonal because of the mesh tiles. Ah, so... The best way for me to describe it so you guys understand what's happening. Have you guys ever disconnected a power wire inside of a solid tile? And then you know that solid, that uh, wire on the inside comes out of the tile? That's exactly what's happening. <laughs> that's, that's the best way to describe the mechanic. So that's what's happening in terms of the, uh, like visually what you see. But what we're doing is, is that by having it in a vacuum, I like, I don't even know if they're here anymore because I know there's an ad going on. Lifeguard, are you here? I'm actually not sure. You are, okay. So when you have a vacuum and no heat loss, your metal stays liquid, All right? Molten cobalt. This is a liquid. <laughs> so if you just don't let this cool down, it's just going to keep spilling, right? Very similar to how magma works, right? It's just going to keep spilling. Nothing's going to happen to it. The heat's going to be there. So by doing that and allowing that to be a thing, we keep the cobalt in the liquid form and then we drip it in to a place to rapidly cool it down. So cooling down happens on contact. So while it's spilling, there is no heat transfer until it reaches the bottom tile. Once it reaches the bottom tile, the diamond window tile here can't melt, right? Because it's melting point 4K. So it absorbs the heat and then absorbs it to the steam. We actually have a temp shift plate here specifically to spread out the heat from the diamond tiles. Now, once that happens, you solidify inside to this. Now depending on how much mass you have, you either spill out or you solidify in the tile and you're gonna have to use a Robo Miner. But I don't have Robo Miner, uh, you know, in here because we don't need that because this is only 11 kilograms per second. So that means each cobalt is gonna be 11 kilograms because that's each eruption period, right? So it'll drip, drip 11 kgs. And then that's each second for 27 seconds. So that's how that works. Do the same thing for copper, and then you just have to separate the liquid types. That way you have uh, a very clean setup. But yeah, that's how that works. We're doing a normal zigzag, and then we run it into the submerged steam turbines for additional cooling, right? This is 17 degrees. And yeah, that's the tamer setup. Very straightforward. Uh, right, we're doing now is trying to get the hydrogen vent tamed. We're gonna do a self-cooling setup, power some generators, and then that's gonna be for rad bolts. The rad bolts are going to feed off of Wee's warts, and then we're going to use that to shoot the metal back home so that we could use the interplanetary launcher with the targeting beacon. <laughs> Liquid teleports them out. Yeah, it's just like what happens when you deconstruct a wire inside of a tile. It pops out of the tile, right? So that's all we're doing. We're just causing that to happen. It's straightforward. Yeah, I guess it's how I approach things. It seems a little weird, maybe. I could see that. But yeah, basically using the mechanic of how the debris uh, move around. And the uh, individual sandstone or the coal right here, they're going to move around if they're inside of a tile. That way they're reachable, right? Because imagine you were able to deconstruct wires and then you have to deconstruct the tiles in order to get the metal back. That would be that would be so mad. I wonder how people figure out this stuff I never would have. Oh, there was... So if you follow the updates, it becomes more apparent. And it makes it more natural for you to actually understand what's going on. So what I mean when I say that is, is that that mechanic that I'm just talking about with the items coming out, this was listed in the patch notes. <laughs> so we figured this out because Clay told us that's how it works now. 
so because I up I follow the updates and then I uh, do content update videos where I go over the patch notes and all the changes we we stumble upon that and of course you know if you're a content creator you're gonna want to experiment that's what I did and then we learn about that but yeah for the most part that's that's all it is at least that's how I'm figuring things out other people that might not be actually doing content videos like that they might just just watching the people that do make the content and come up with their own idea that's very common right someone that doesn't actually like follow it as as much as the people that actually do and then they just cover that video instead kind of like when like you know you have a big streamer like what has been gold he doesn't pay attention to all the patch notes he'll just wait for like quinn or someone to actually read it and summarize it and then he'll comment on it right it's kind of like that so it's like yeah I'm, I'm part of the uh like i actually dive into the notes and break it down for you guys that's what i do <laughs> but yeah it's all part of the beast that is content creation all right so we need to get steam that's good we gotta cut that now oh we gotta cut this down and then we have to connect this my kitty cat's mad at me he's like why aren't you giving me head rubs dude what's happening <laughs> he's kind of mad at me right now oh there's no more gas here just bleach stone that's fine i might want to have to mine this though Yeah, we might have to mine the bleach stone. We might bring it inside. Ah, oh, there's gonna be chlorine in the base. That's gonna be fun. Yeah, I like watching, playing different. Yep, yep. Mamba needs a massage table, like the dupes. Nah, man, Mamba has one. It's just he wants me to run on the wheel so that it could turn on for him. But I'm streaming, so I can't run on the wheel yet. You know how it is, man, with the kitty cats. Always demanding. Alright, so we're good here. We have water. Everything here. Oh, snap. Oh, we added all the... No, we never used the steel. Yeah, we could argue that. We never used the steel. Uh, let's sweep bowling everything now. That way we don't have to accidentally add stuff in. And then we have a crew here. Who's the crew? Ravco, Matikso, and Esme. Okay. So this is going to be Susumuno. We will send D Mayor. I think I want it non-stop naps. And then the last guy was Ghost Rider. All right, that's going to be the crew. If it works for you, it's not that weird. That's how you enjoy playing. True. Well, stay with a friend. Her cat demanded I give her pats. I accidentally found the right spot. So she ran to tell her friend. The new human new spot, a hey, yo man, to be like that sometimes. A lot of times, man, cats have a sweet spot. And it's it's really up to you to find out where it is. It typically doesn't change, though. So if you find it, it's always there. But yeah, it'd be like that sometimes. Good to hear that you're making the good kitty friends. Guys, guys, we're going to watch this melt. Let's go. Oh sh we're almost there boys. Dude, we're gonna we're gonna finally melt this. So this was at 40 degrees Celsius today. Two nine a nine twenty six, nine twenty six. So it needs to hit this value and then go above it by two point five. So we need to hit ninety nine point four. Uh dude. I mean ninety nine. Uh ninety three point four. Nine thirty four point four. Let's go. Wait, wait, thirty four? No, two point five eight? No, no, no. Nine twenty nine point four. Jeez, I'm not I don't know how to do simple math, dude. What a struggle. Did we fix it? We did. So we fixed it. Oh no way. How does this happen? How do you get a floating bubble of slime like this? Yo, that's illegal, dude. How are you floating in midair? You didn't even damage the rocket platform, dude. This shouldn't be possible. 
Yeah, dude, what the hell is this? Man, what the hell is that? Alright, boys. We're gonna melt this finally. I paused the game. Oh, man. That's, dude, that's so jank. Alright, boys. Three degrees. Alright, point three. Back to one X. Point four. Oh, man. Oh, wait. I'm not there yet. Oh, do I have to hit 29.9? Three degrees? Three degrees? And it should melt. Oh, there it is. We did it, boys. We didn't crash the game. It melted immediately. Ah, oh, damn. It feels good to be a gangster. We melted the reservoir, y'all. Dude, that was kind of anticlimactic, but we did it. Alright, so we don't need this anymore. We're gonna get rid of that. Uh, get rid of the power line probably as well. Alright, melted boys. Now we gotta do something with this. Uh, I have to do that. That's not a cheese, though. An oil res just melts at 900. That's not cheese. That's not cheese. That's just that's just how the game works. What do you mean? Melting? You can't melt dupes. If you didn't know, there's a hard code in the game that if a dupe melts, the game crashes. <laughs> you didn't know that. There is a hard code in the game that if dupes ever melt, the game crashes. That's great, actually. That's how you get rid of it. Yep. I happen to opt it for a molten glass. No one's trapped. Off. Oh, how'd you get trapped, son? What the hell is this? I said no one was trapped. You made me a liar, dude. This guy. I said no one was trapped, and you lied to me. Oh, everyone's dying. Get out, get out. Everyone get out. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. We got sour gas. Oh shit. Not like this. Oh, <laughs> what happened, dude? How'd I get sour gas? Oh, dude, they try to sweep out the items. Oh, damn. That's not good. Uh Dude, this is not this is not good. This is not good. Oh. That is not good. So how do I want to do this? There's a lot of hot energy inside. Well, there is an easy way out. Realistically. I just don't want to do it. Yeah, I must have dropped something into the oil. How do I want to do this? Alright. Uh, we have 55 and then all the other glasses here. Alright, boys. We, we got to do the strat. Ah, oh, this is the strat. Have you, have you tried adding sugar? Yo, man. All I gotta say is the sugar might melt. Alright. We're gonna have to take some damage for greater good. Everyone's hurt. For the greater good, y'all. Alright. So that's a good chunk of heat. We're gonna be removing. Dude, you're about to die, man. Holy shit. That was not wise. Let's get some more of these. <laughs> yep. Let's get another one of those. Alright, so what we're doing right now is, if you didn't know, if you build something with the hot material, it resets the temperature to a baseline 45. 
So we're gonna take the like thousand degrees of hot glass and we're gonna build temperature plates. And that resets temperature to 45. Now, while building though, the area is hot. That's because the glass inside the contents are actually interacting with the oxygen right now. So this is 500 degrees. So this means that it's heating up the O2, but the heat transfer is slow. The heat, the heat transfer is slow because it's a gas. So I opted for this method so that we could reset the temperature of the glass. So this is 4,000 kilograms of glass that we reset down from 500 degrees. All right, so now that's part of it. Now we have to do a little bit more. Uh, I need to reset the temperature of the diamond. And then I need to probably bring out the steel. I have a lot of steel though, so that's going to be really hard. And the diamond. Okay, so that means I think we'll go with the secondary strat. Let's mine these two. Let me get this. Oh, come on, dude. Get out of here. There we go. Hey, Mean Hatter Meanderer. Come in with the gift sub. Thank you so much, Mean Hatter Meanderer. I see you over there. Appreciate the support. Thank you so much. Back door for now, or you lose dupes. No, no, no. We'll be fine. We're going to use a water drip strat. I'm going to do a water drip strat. It's going to make sense. It's going to make sense. Heal us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got the people on the beds. We got the people on the beds. People are hurt. People are hurt. We're going to get them, though. But, yo, C-E-R-T-23. Welcome to the city. Hope you enjoyed your stay. Enjoy the Emoti 29's ad free viewing. <laughs> Don't forget that legit sub bad. Appreciate the support. Thank you so much. I see you over there, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. So dupes are all going by themselves to the beds if they're hurt. Uh, there is a percentage modifier, right? If you're in the range, you're just automatically going to assign yourself. Not for the new ones, though, so I have to do some changes for that. All right. And then what I'm going to do is... We're going to do this. And then we're going to have cold water right here. And we're just going to spill that down to the bottom. 800 degrees, though. That's tough. Oh, oh, I could do this. Five tons of single-digit water. Yeah, 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 yeah. Five tons of single-digit water. That should body the heat pretty fast. All right, that's going to be the logic that we're going to try to follow. Okay, we don't need this anymore. Should be okay. Oxygen is okay. That going into the bottom. Okay. And I also want to pump up this water again. Oh, the water pump's maxed out. Okay, so that means I should be able to do this. There we go. Comes in, comes out. Wilding. Oh, you're just going to pick up some igneous? What a guy. Alright, we got the water right there. How much is here already? Let me empty this real fast. Nice. Alright, so now I'm going to decon this tile. So we're going to... Oh, what are you... Whoa, 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 whoa! The not smart kiwi? Get out, get out, get out! What the hell is that? What the hell is that, dude? No one's allowed inside. Get out of here. Uh, what would happen if you just deconstructed the res? You get the bottle. You get the bottle. So the five-ton bottle that I had earlier was how I got this five-ton bottle that's spilling out right now. Ah... Uh... Dude, completely bodied the heat. Now we're absorbing it. Not bad. 
that's not true for gas res though that's only for liquid res uh disclaimer <laughs> if you do that with this it's going to release the gas into the open so watch out for that the the gas res does not give you a propane tank like this you see the oxygen at the 3600s it's not going to give you that so only for liquid will it do that fair warning All right, so I was going to drip that water. It looks like we don't need to do that anymore. Since we have the five tons, we're just going to redo that. I think that's fair. Let's ladder all the way down as well. All right, so now we're just waiting for the materials to have heat transfer. Yeah, that's not bad. This is okay again. So we're just going to let that absorb the heat before we take care of it. Alright, so that means it's time for us to actually uh, take care of this. So, we won't fly back yet. I think that's fine. We're going to start setting up the Somnium so that we have a nice setup. I'll probably have to build a small mini spawn, kind of like that. And then we need to do the design for this. So, the first things first. I think I need... This is tough. I feel like I want them to be able to go down the slam. Oh, maybe that's going to be the ladder set. Oh, that's true. That's relative to this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So because this is likely going to be insulated all the way down, and then we want this to be the top, and then this lines up with that, that lines up with this, right? And then I want to empty out the water. So this comes out, right? So it's out to here. And then the design with the plastic ladder is going to be like that. Ah. All right, we'll do it like that. We'll get rid of the glass. The fire pole should be like that. And then we do the room. So the room maximum length is... 19 tiles okay well relative to that that's here okay so it's 19 from the plastic and then we had a new plastic so plastic 19 second plastic so we do it like that this goes down ooh like that that's really clean and then we get the fire pole down this way I don't get the second room set up here, though. So this is going to have to be a singular room. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's not enough, though. I might want this room to be a bedroom. Welcome back, Leo. We melted it, man. We did it. We melted the geyser. And then I think we make these guys come from the back. That would work out pretty well. So that would mean we do this. And then this is a weird hub. Because we wouldn't have anything here. So maybe we could do like a floating meal hall right here. That'd be kind of weird. What guys was it? It was an oil reservoir. It melted into igneous. It was really weird. Oh, I know why. It, it melts into magma. And then that re-solidifies into igneous. So it's weird because it's sedimentary rock, but I had igneous rock from it after I melted it. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know if I'll melt this one. It is in the way. It's kind of annoying, but it's it's not that bad. I'll keep this one, though. It looks cool. But this one was in the way of my Somnium. Why did we? Oh, I want to put my Somnium uh, sleepers for this nearby. That's it. So by uh, having my sleepers in the area, the oil well was in the way. <laughs> Because I went in a certain amount. So we'll have 8, 11, potentially 12. And then we have like a short path for these guys to come in, I think. Because we'll probably have it like that. Which probably means then something like that's very likely. And that means the back is going to be all airflow tiles. Yeah, very likely. That's going to be how the gas flow comes out. 
So CO2 spills out, and then we'll have airflow down here as well. And then based off of this design, this is all removed. And then we can remove this now. Alright, the door is gone. Let's remove the power wires here as well. Let's get rid of this. Let's deconstruct everything inside. Everything inside here. Let's start trimming the top. Never used a Somnium Dream thing before. The dupes will wear pajamas, sleep, and something will pop out, and it's needed for the machine when the buff comes, as far as understood. Yep, that's exactly how that works. You get a journal, the dream journals. And then once you have enough, you get a uh, stat increase. It's actually pretty strong. Now, the main benefit why this is good is because the buff is galaxy-wide. That means everyone, regardless of where you are, gets the buff. Dupes on other planets, dupes inside of a rocket. It's a galaxy-wide buff, so it's really good. Really good, really good. And then I think I need to forcefully spill out the water. Yeah, we have to do that. Is a Sonium trait worth the effort, or is it just to get the badge? Uh, I'm doing it because this is a sign of... Uh, what do you call that? What do you call something you do as a flex? <laughs> is that a bad way to put it? What do you call something that you do for a flex? But it's also because if you could flex, it means that you're doing well. So one of the goals for our run is to have like, for lack of better words, proper stability. Posing, pres not, not posing, but it's like, you would only flex if you were in like a good position, right? Like you could actually have time to work out, you know, you're able to eat well, you could afford that lifestyle, right? So it's like, if you could be buff, yeah, it's kind of like bad manners. But bad manners is only when you're playing against somebody. It's a sign of prosperity. Yeah, 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 you can say that. Like, it looks like you drive a Range Rover when you go to work, so you could spend, uh, you know, you could spend money on gas because the Range Rover is like two miles per gallon, right? So it's, it's a sign of wealth, right? So us setting up Somnium and able to provide Somnium for the colony while not using any geysers from our starter planet is a good sign that we got stable and we provided everything for everyone. We also have the statue. We're also going to do the tear. So that's going to be something we'll do eventually. But yeah, I want to do the Somnium because one of the goals we had was to have stability without using any of the geysers from the starting planet. Right? None of these are going to be used. And then we're bringing everything else from, uh, you know, a different planet. So that's going to be the reason why we're going to want that. And then if we could do that, I think we uh, accomplished everything that we wanted. Yeah, you can't use the geyser from the starter planet. Then melting the oil well makes sense. Yep, that was another reason. It was in the way. I couldn't use it anymore, so I have to melt it. Superiority. Yep, I see over there. Lifeguard. Yeah, some of you guys, though. Status, status symbol, Robo Jumper, Flying Tortoise. That's exactly it. That's exactly it. I'm always learning something by watching. Hey, if you guys ask questions, you guys may be able to learn more. But of course, hey, man. Papa Mags. Appreciate it. Thank you for watching the streams. That's all I can really ask, man, from the peoples. Hope you guys enjoyed the content. Thank you guys for watching. So shout out to you guys. Those of you that uh, are here every day, hanging out with us, supporting me and the Mambas. Mamba's mad because I'm still streaming. So he's in the other room pouting. Feels bad. And yes, Mamba pouts. I know, he's a kitty cat. Why is he pouting? I don't know, man. Be like that sometimes. Oh, this is a bedroom. I'm down. I'm down to make both of these bedrooms. Realistically. I think that makes so much sense. So then we'll have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then this could be the meal hall. Ooh. 10 dupes sleeping for the Somnium. I might need 12. I'm going to go with 10 for now, though. I learned yesterday that you could lullaby many eggs, just one incubator. Wait, 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 are you saying that you didn't know the lullaby 
was a buff applied to the egg and you didn't know that you didn't need the incubator on 24 7 for the buff <laughs> is that is that what it is what's going on it's billable hero how are you welcome in i see you over there this game is actually really insane you should open an oni university i'm actually planning on doing like a youtube series where i talk about more of the game but it's like, it takes time, and it's like, I want to stream more than make YouTube videos. So it's like, I haven't really gotten the time to actually do that. But I do want to do that. That's something I have plans on doing. Ah, you didn't think about taking the egg out. I see. That is something people wouldn't do that often, taking the egg out, I will say that. Because taking the egg out, it's, it's like... People associate the building with the buff. So I, it, it makes sense why people wouldn't do that. Like I would never unpower, like I would unpower the incubator, but not rotate the eggs into one. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, technically the lullaby is a buff on the egg on itself, which is why that works. That makes sense. A lot of people think that it's tied to the building still. I see what you're saying though, I see what you're saying. Would have been a huge simplification of carnivore. Yeah, but it comes at a cost. You're gonna have to micromanage the eggs in the incubator so much more. It's kind of like how I do my suits and I micromanage my suits. Right, Leo? It's like you see me micromanage that. If you forget, it's a bad time. <laughs> right? If you forget, it's gonna be a bad time. All right, we're gonna stop the aqua tuner because I almost forgot about this, man. Holy shit. <laughs> I almost forgot about that. Yeah, it sounds like a lot of... Yep, it is. I mean, it's worth it, though, a lot of the times. Believe it or not, it's actually worth it. I think it is. Wait, what happened here? Hello? How did this jam? Wait, what? Hey, what's this? All right, man, something happens. They jammed my AQ. I'm going to fix that real fast. All right, now we're back to here. Let's remove this. Mop the water, get that out. And we'll have the Somnium set up. So no one in here is going to wear suits. The suits are going to be for the deliveries of food, making sure the people that are uh, trying to do that can do that and do it safely. All right, and then we need to do the door set up here. We're gonna give them, we will give them a lip, okay. So this one has to be ladder access. And then this is six, that's six, that's proper. Let's get rid of that. We're going to remove the middle, cancel that. That's going to be that set up. So we will actually remove this. So this is going to be buildings. And we'll line that up. And then we know we want rooms here now. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we're going to want that. But how are you going to say, yeah, take out the eggs that are lullaby? There's no real way to automate that. You, you're just going to have to manually, like, micromanage that. It feels bad. There's a design to automate it. You just need to trap a rancher in the room for a while. Oh, no. With a cotton and table to eat, that poor dupe. This is humane, inhumane. Just him and his eggs. Yo, man, my life is ranching, dude. Be like that sometimes. Sometimes people live the life. And that lifestyle calls for a lot of eggs. They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. Alright, so that means we also have to route this over like that. Alright, just so that we can hide the pipes. We're gonna have to mop everything, sweep everything. That's gonna be fun. I need to make a water dump then. Uh... So we need to make an oil dump and a water dump. Water dump going up top makes sense. Although this is kind of jammed already, which is fine. 
I wouldn't mind also doing another cold water release so that we could rebuild the res. Where should I put the water dump? Up top makes a lot of sense, to be honest. Because we have this here. So I could just dump water here and pump it into the system. Yeah, I think I will do that. I consider making separate accommodations for special light to my colony when I'm done with carnivore. Yo, man. After he's done with carnivore. What a mad lad. 23. Aw, oh, come on. Twenty. One, two, three. So close. Twenty. And then at six. Okay, so we get that. Uh, I guess I will do that. It should be here, though, realistically. So how do we get this guy's extra room tile? I guess I have to mine something. Oh, I don't want that, though. It looks better if I didn't mine it. 24. Oh, sh 23. God damn. We gotta get him the nice room, though. I'm on spaced out all achievements run. 7 cycles, 700. And I can focus on the rest. No man. You got it, Leo. You got it. You should do GMO A-OK -okay and uh, mind the gap ASAP. <laughs> but if I had to give you any advice, that's my advice. And then this is water. Low priority is fine. My hydrogen setup. Uh, the spawn? Or the this setup, which is just for power. Oh, yeah, we're not done with that yet. We have some problems here. <laughs> I'm going I'm to do this on another stream. I'm, I'm kind of mad about that still, man. How did that happen? But yeah, I have this design on YouTube, Lifeguard, if you want to see it. It's the no steel, self-taming, self-powered hydrogen tank. I have this design on YouTube. I'm actually going to be using the same design because I know how it works. But for the most part, it's going to be a room like this. This is insulated. This is insulated. We put a steam turbine up here, and then there's going to be steam in here. So this is going to be insulated tiles right here. Steam turbine. Should work out. Reminds me, I have no idea how to get the mutated crops. Ah, uh, there's a lot of different ways to get it. So let's talk about mutated crops. A lot of the times, people don't have the uh, right idea of how mutation works. So in this game, in the plant requirements, every plant in this game, unless you're a decor plant, which is the caveat. Uh, I believe decor, cave uh, decor plants are caveats. No, they, they don't. You can actually mutate them. That makes no sense. Well, they shouldn't do anything. I don't think you can mutate them. This is just ambient radiation. So every plant in this game has something called ambient radiation. If you hit the radiation overlay, this is ambient radiation. On the top of the map, you have a certain value. And then depending on your tile types and how much mass you have, that's going to weaken the radiation. This radiation is going to be shining through depending on, uh, you know, how many layers you have. If you have internal sources that generate like a wheeze wart. And for the most part, that's going to be the value that dictates all plants that are harvestable. So while decor plants have this value, we're not going to be talking about them or be considering them when we speak about the plants today, about the uh, mutated crops. So you have to hit 80% of this value. The sweet spot for mutated crops is 80% of the crops maximum. So the ambient radiation that a grub fruit could actually uh, handle is less than 9,800. To get the maximum mutated seed chance, you have to do at least 80% of the crop. After you hit 80%, you don't get additional rolls. It doesn't really matter. So hitting 80% is going to be the goal. Uh, of course, if it over this, the, the plant's not going to grow, right? So that's going to be the one thing to watch out for. So after you have that, let's talk about how you get the seed rolls. So first things first, 
The most complicated thing about mutated crops is that it's dictated by your farming skill. So right here you have something called agriculture. Agriculture has seed chance. That seed chance is exactly what dictates everything. In order for you to have a mutated seed, you have to get a seed from the get-go. So that means even if you mutate the crops enough radiation, you're not guaranteed a seed. So you run two rolls every time you try to see if you get a mutated crop. The first roll is, do you get a seed? So your agriculture chance has to be very, very high. So for you to do it easier, you want to get your duplicate with the highest agriculture skill. And I could see right here. And that has to be the only dupe that does the farming for that. Because if you don't and you have someone else random harvest it, dude, you're going to lose a seed. If you don't get a seed, you lose the chance to get a mutated seed. So that's the annoying part. It is a mad pain. I had so many problems trying to make a setup, trying to make it so that only one dupe reaches it, trying to make it so that maybe we just ignore that and just try to make a huge mutated crop area and just hope for RNG. <laughs> so that being said, um, those are the factors. Now, how do you mutate a crop? It's very simple. Just have the crop in radiation. So the biggest, the biggest problem with that is radiation sometimes bop the plants. Also, the radiation source might be a problem, might not be stable. But very often, do you actually have mutated sleet wheat because of this natural occurrence? You're going to always get radiation from the weaswort. So ice biomes give you the most amount of mutated crops naturally. For the reasoning that, well, you're going to have weaswarts next to sleet wheat. If you let that idle for a couple hundred cycles, you're bound to get one, right? So at some point you're gonna get a mutated crop from this and then you're just gonna to have to get the botanical analyzer. But that's how that works. Now, there is a cheese strat. Now that I've explained everything, the cheese strat is probably what people wanna know about. If you have a fully grown plant, save the game. And you could re-roll just like the printing pod for the uh, printouts the seed roll chance and that also dictates whether or not you get a mutated seed you could literally just save the game before they go up to harvest it and then when they harvest it if you get a seed if you get a mutated seed you got it if not you could just reset and try it again so of course that saves scumming just like the printing pod for the care package so depending on how you view that i would view that the same way but that would be the cheese strat if you guys are trying to get that 100% of the time. This is going to take a long time for you to, you know, roll that many times. And then you got to do it for each plant. That's going to be the annoying part. But yeah, that's going to be options for you if that's what you want. Not going to do that. Yep, I, I would imagine. It's mad annoying, man. <laughs> it is mad annoying. Uh, and when we uh, print... A therapist to help the dupes from uh, all the time warping dude we don't warp that much we're just chilling at home dude we take rockets the teleporters are there but we don't really use it it's all right it's all right oh I'm out of ice oh I'm out of ice well that sucks dude this is still hot kind of mad about that 27 degrees. All right, good, good, good. All right, so we got to fix this. And then I wanted to do some things, right? So we're going to move water up here. Um, I guess I should just move oil away into a separate area at the bottom. We'll pull this in. Uh, let's do that setup. And then we'll just put some uh, reservoirs here. I need to just move some of the oil out. And then we're just gonna pump make this out of gold pump it in very simple we'll just use one bottle emptier so that we don't overfill this too fast and then let's go like that someone's hurt not laying the medical cot let's see 69 
79, 62. Ah. All right, we're going to assign them. So the reason why they're not going to go automatically is because they're not really that hurt. If he's really that hurt, he'll go onto the cot. But they actually recover sleeping on a regular bed as well. Yo, Nightbot, dude, you pissed off Nightbot. How'd you piss off Nightbot, dude? What'd you do? Dude, Nightbot started talking like a human? Come on, man. You know you done fucked up if you got the robots speaking English. They speak in binary, dude. Zeros and ones. How did you get him pissed off, man? What'd you do? Are we gonna go with that? That, that. Oh. What the heck is this? One, two. Oh, then we do it like that. Actually, this could work. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, I see. And then we would do it like that. Oh, that's better. Oh, okay, I see it now. You just one up to him. Come on, man. The bots hate that, dude. You know this. Don't one up the bots. Not a fan. They're not a fan. All right. Let's also seal this up all the way. And then I think this is going to be our meal hall. So I think we might just not give this guy a private bedroom. <laughs> Feels bad. And then we're going to need to move out all the oil here soon. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then we'll have a setup here. So... We know we got to get doors for everything. And then... Wow, I think I do pull it out all the way. I think I do. So we're just going to use a fridge. Because the strats are going to allow that to be okay. So I think I do do this. Oh, that's tough. So we go in this way. Main ladder shaft. Backside shafts. And then it's very likely we'll need airflow here, here, and then probably at the bottom of uh, the ladder shaft here as well. I'll do a double there. All right, so that's going to allow the gases to leak out. This is a spill path anyways. And then we'll have to do one here later as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I would do that just to make travel a little bit smoother. All right, once we're done with that, we'll start pumping up the oils. I guess this is going to be necessary. By the way, Spice Grinders OP not needing the freezing setup simplifies food management a lot. Well, you need salt. <clears throat> Salt's not guaranteed, right? So it's 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 great if you can get it. But I think it's it's you know, the freezer setup is uh, always going to be available. I have had runs where I never had salt before. There are some, dude, dude, I'm so mad. The, uh, this, is it this one? No, not this one. This, this freaking map is the most rudest map. The flipped one, because on a proper flipped asteroid, I believe you also get ethanol and rust. And you know what's the worst thing about that? No, no, it's not. This. I think it's the frozen forest. Yeah, it's this one. This map is horrible, dude. They don't give you gold, they don't give you salt, and they give you rust. And you know how rude that is? You can't oxidize rust unless you have salt. And that also provides iron. Oh, dude. I hate that map, dude. The forest map is absolute travesty. Because <laughs> it's like, dude, if I had salt, it would have saved so much. I wouldn't have to rely on oxyferns. There's no salt with the rust here, so it's mad. And you know what's funny? They grow dash of salt vines. So you would have to open up a chlorine geyser 
grow dash assault vines, and then you'll be able to make oxygen via rust. Yo, man, and the worst part is you could use rust to make chlorine if you had salt. And guess what? They give you none of it. It's so gross. That map is so gross. I hate this map, man. The forest, frozen forest. It's a bad time. And then you also get no gold, so you can't build a spawn in the beginning because you don't have cooling. And you don't have overheat temperature. <laughs> you have to go for steel first. That's another thing about that map that kind of sucks. Isn't there a plant that makes salt they could bring from another rock? No, that's what I'm talking about. The dash of salt vine. But you know what you need for that? You need chlorine. Right? You consume 6 grams per second. And you know what's funny? The rust deoxidizer gives you chlorine. <laughs> like, it's part of the, the, the loop. Like, if you got one, you'll be able to supply it. But you need to get that initial bit. <laughs> you need to get that initial bit of salt so that you could have the system start actually rolling. But that's the thing about that. They don't give you any amount of salt. So you have to just find a separate source of chlorine, grow the salt, make the rusty oxidizer, and then add dash of salt finds to the chlorine part of that. It's just mad annoying, man. They give you like half of the ingredients. And it's like, hey man, if you just process these ingredients, you get the other half. But you can't process it without the other half. That's that's the thing about that. That's kind of annoying. But yeah. What, what, what's that called? I can't get an entry level job unless I have 10, year, uh, 10 years of experience. But in order to get 10 years of experience, I need to get an entry level job. <laughs> it's the catch 22. I believe that's what that's called. The catch 22, man. They don't think it be like it is, but it do. Really do be like that sometimes. You just hate to see it. Alright, so this is gonna be nice. I can't reach, okay. I know this is fine though. Jump from here to here to here to here when we get that. Okay, so now we have 10 people. Let's argue 10 people is enough. I don't want to add two people in the basement. While we could, that'd probably be a bad look. I don't want to have people in the basement, man. But we might have to have people in the basement. All right, we'll have 10 people. So we'll have a setup for 10 chairs. And then this room is, oh, this is exactly 120 tiles. That's great. That means I could fill this out all the way and randomly just put a uh, open spot for a ladder inside. Okay. So now we need to do a mess table setup. Let's use iron for this. So this is 14, that's 13. Uh, let's use a 13. Ooh. So that is 12. Oh, I can't do it like that. And then it's three. So if I want this to be the ladder, but that's in the middle, I would do... Ooh, that's eight. That's so close. Uh, let's do a separate pattern. You have a buddy that you eat with. Oof. Uh, no. Let's do a two space gap. And then we have the center still. Damn it. Is it literally like that? I don't like that though. All right, let's go. Let's go design this for twelve. That's probably gonna have to be how that works, right? That's gonna be for twelve. And they're gonna get that there. All right. Then of course we won't actually have perfectly fresh food. We're gonna have to keep everything uh, just kind of basic here. 
stripes, and then we'll have regulars. And then we're gonna need that core item, and then rec room building. Okay, so. Gonna get the party line phone right here. And then. Let's get some paintings. It's not bad. Oof. Can't get that in. Okay. Let's get this a little closer. And then that way we could stagger everything. And then we'll have it like this. Ooh. I have too many of the small paintings. So we'll get another one like that. And then get these on the side. There we go. That way it's a little bit different. And then it's going to be molding. I am okay with that. Alright, that's going to be the design. People are still going in and out. Not really too... Oh! H2? Oh, that's going to be a pain. I won't be able to get rid of that. I might just have to leave it there. Damn, that sucks. I learned all sorts of things, but stores say I am much of a liability. I could be uh, too weird, because even the circus turned me down for being too weird for the circus. Wait, what? I'm so confused. Wolfy man. Just tell him that you're the uh, wolf man. Dr. Jackal, Mr. Hyde. And they're going to be like, you know what? That might sell. And it's all going to work out. Why can't you get rid of that? I don't want to ruin the tiles right here because I can't rebuild Gravitas tiles. And then the only way for me to remove the H2 is to pump it out. And I don't want to remove any of the background tiles for aesthetic reasons. <laughs> aesthetics, man. It's all about the aesthetics. Oh, the diamond tile. That's true. I could. Yeah, that's true. Brickhead, that's true. Hey, I was thinking about the top only. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. You guys are right about that. You guys are right about that. It's just glass. Even better. Yeah, man. I have a lot of glass. So it's going to be a good time. And then once we move the people into here, I'll, I'll be able to start renovating some of the other rooms up top. Nice, nice. Hello, hello. What's going on, Brickhead? How are you? I see you over there. We're trying to get our Somnium set up. We still got a lot of things we got to do, though. We need to go back to the uh, Metal Volcano Planet. We got the Tamer set up. We just need to do a uh, Hydrogen Tamer. It's leaving. Let's go. Comes out around 30 degrees. Can I really be mad about that? Oh, we're out of power here. Oh, because these turbines haven't been running that often. No. No. It's because we have uh, power separated. All right, I might actually want to separate that power line and tie it to the hydrogen. Yeah, this is getting warm. I guess above this, that temperature was too much. Yeah, it's because this side's power. All right, so I think... That means that we do want to do this. Oh, we just don't want to have it sweep only. Yeah, so we want to swap so this side generates heat. And then the heat adds to this side. Love the hatch statue. Just enjoying a chill night on my end. How are you? We doing all right, man. Just trying to make the uh, things work. We just kept running into problems. I went to here, and then we had the pathway blocked by a meteor. And then look at this. I want to argue two meteors collided midair and then spawned this. Because there's no way in hell it didn't reach the bottom, man. What the hell is that? How does this just float and stop my rocket from landing? Like, this is going to, you know, it's going to be, uh, oh, launch path is uh, blocked off, so I can't land on this. <laughs> so it's, it's kind of annoying, man. 
The blue of the Molten Cobalt is just beautiful. It's a nice, deep blue band. It reminds me of the uh, Lapis Lazul from uh, the Minecrafts. I feel like that sometimes. Alright, grab the Rust. You need miners on the side of that silo. Yo, man. I don't need miners. I just need my Hydrogen Tamer so that I could power the doors. <laughs> That's all I need. I just need to be able to power the doors. And I'll be okay. I don't know, man. It's just weird. I don't know how that happens. It's just jank, man. They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. Yeah, but I might need miners. I might. There's a good chance I'll have to set up a miner design up top. Once we do the interplanetary launchers. That's going to be a fun time. But yeah, we'll have to come back to this area. And right now, just trying to set up our Somnium area. Make sure all the gases have uh, space to go down. Oh, I also need to do gas flow, right? Oh yeah, this is going to go to the suits, but it's also going to be for the uh, environment. Uh, we'll have it like that. And we'll have it like that. And then that must mean that this side, we grab the oxygen a little weird. I wouldn't mind doing it like this. And then from here, hmm, it's a neutronium in the way. Cause I want to get a vent in like the back if possible, but it's going to look ugly. So maybe we don't need that there is what I'm thinking. So we would eventually do that, this, that, and then that, that. That means we will do that one here. And then this goes to the suits. So realistically, I think it's like that. Should be okay. Oil is getting moved. Low priority, but it's fine. And then everything's going to work. Good stuff, good stuff. Dude, I'm, I'm surprised this is still freaking hot, dude. I wonder if there's anything I could do about this to cool this down eventually. Because this seems like it's never going to not be hot. 40 degrees constantly. Feels bad. Feels bad, feels bad. Okay, so I probably should start putting stuff in between. I think we put statues there. Sculpting blocks. Oh, we do. Oh, these are not nice, though. Yeah, all these have to be small. So... We'll do that, and then we'll do a couple pedestals. I th Yeah, we can't put that there. That's fine. And we can't put flower pots, either. Is there a small building that gives decor? No, there's not, right? A one-by-one one tile? I don't think anything like that exists. Yeah, that means we'll be fine like that. Alright. We got a double picture. That's not good. Let's convert that to the shovel. And then we'll get some rooms right here. Let's go rocket bed. A bounce castle. Plastic bed. Plastic bed. And then... Rocket bed. Ooh. Go with that. And then this has to be rocket bed. Okay. Bed set up like that. Let him work. Speed it up. Alright, alright. People of chat. I want to ask, does anyone in chat has any questions? Anything to ask about the game if you guys need help? If not, I think we're going to be wrapping things up right here. This is a good spot to set up. We're going to be wrapping up our Somnium, and then next time we're going to do the Metal Volcano Tamer. We're going to do a lot of stuff up here. We're going to have to set up all the bunker doors, space scanners, set up multiple launchers, I'm thinking. And then we have to set up the uh, radiation setup for the Weezwards. That's going to be fun. 
I'll probably also wipe out all the puffs here, is what I'm thinking. How's your car? My car is screwed. It's a hybrid battery problem. So my hybrid battery is going to die soon. We don't know how soon. But when it does, my car will not be able to turn on anymore. And thus, it is on its last legs. The mechanic ran test on it, and he said that there's no chance we have all the sensors on your hybrid battery malfunctioning. Because all six sensors are giving me bad readings. So effectively, they're saying something's wrong. And you do have an old car. It's been more than 10 years. And it's a hybrid. So, you know, you got a good amount of, you know, mileage out of that. That's what he was saying. But it was like, yeah, there's nothing I could do. He's like, you got to take it to the dealership if you want it fixed. But for the most part, he can't do anything. So I didn't pay anything to the mechanic. He just checked it out with the uh, onboard dash, ran a couple diagnostic tests. And he's like, yeah, man, go to the dealership. <laughs> I was like, oh, fuck. Be like that sometimes. No, nope, not anymore. Not anymore. This is a 09 Malibu. It's been 15 years. Just bought the game. Haven't played yet. Is there a learning curve? It is. Uh, how about this? One of the things in this game. Yeah, right here. There is an achievement to reach cycle 100. And that is one of the very first achievements on the list because it's probably the most commonly gotten. And I didn't consistently, now hear me out when I say consistently, I haven't consistently gotten past this achievement, which is reaching cycle 100, until I played about 75 hours. And I did that all in the first week. So, I'll just tell you a couple things. I had a lot of fun playing the game. And I didn't want to stop. And I was streaming the game as well. So I cranked out 75 hours in the first week. But I kept resetting my run because I'm a perfectionist. I kept having dupes pee in the water tank. Uh, dupes getting stuck on ledges because they didn't understand how that worked yet. And for the most part, I went through 100 hours. Oh no, 75 hours before I was able to grasp the game in a good understanding. And then I consistently got past that every time. So for the most part, I would say it depends on if you have experience with other games that are colony management. If you have experience with something like, you know, Rimworld, uh, Timberborn, Dwarf Fortress, Going Medieval, uh, any of those colony management games that you might have played before, where you manage a colony, make sure they all survive, you provide the amenities. If you have experience with that, it's going to be more intuitive. But you have to understand that for this game, that is just the outside layer the management colony management in this game is literally the surface level so once you dive into the game there's a lot of heat management with the thermodynamics this has a rich thermodynamics uh game system probably the richest out of any other game just due to how the elements interact and how you could build actual systems so for the most part it is kind of tough but if you just approach this like a quality management game, don't look at the science too deeply and be like, oh, that's how this works in real life. You'll be fine. And, you know, it's going to be a good time. Checking out the YouTube, of course. Let me know, man, if you need the helps. Yeah, the losing this game is fun because you get to start over and play the beginning again. That's where a lot of the, uh, the uh, fun is for new players, I would say, specifically for new players. Now, of course, experienced players might still enjoy the beginning a lot too. But it's not the be-all, end-all. It's just where, like, the initial amount of fun is at. So don't be afraid to reset. Everything's going to work out fine. The learning curve is a vertical line. <laughs> you ain't wrong. All right, guys, let's get that saving.